everyone. How you doing today? Welcome to our live, everybody. Oh, you know what? I said the other day would be smarter of us. You should be posting your information right now while everyone's getting alerted and on. Yes. And that's then true. you'll be ready. And then you can be like, hello. Yes. So don't be cute yet. <gasps> Not yet? No, you need to say that. Gosh. Anyways, but so we're doing SpongeBob tonight. Let me go ahead and. Actually, let me go ahead and post my information. Yes, yes. So, let me sit down first. <laughs> Do it 30 days in a row to be happy. Okay, so all the product is at www.tinovo.shop. And then I will put in Kyla information. Her phone number is 417 772 4020. So you can call her for any kind of shipping question or shopping question, whatever. Um, anyway, before we start, I want to show you something. What, what, what? So, today, today we did this fry, and it's like, oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like this background. It just annoyed me, annoying so much. So, like, you know what? I am going to switch. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so sexy. See this? It's like, what is blue in here? So anyway, I have switched it and oh my god, I am so in love. It's, it is so sexy, you guys. This is what I want. This is what I want. Exactly it. Because I, I was because I didn't have a plan. So I didn't really think about it that much. So I just dive into it. I dive into the middle finger first. And then, of course, have blue in the background, whatever. And then I ventured into the rings. But then the last moment I did this, it don't have blue in it. But it's so sexy, just like this. So I like, I wish this blue is not there. And there you go. Wow. I have successfully switched the color. So now... It is beautiful in my eyes. It's I beautiful. cannot believe that you were sitting here doing that and I thought you were concentrating on something. Mm -mm. And I could have been bothering you the whole time. I don't know, right? No, this, the gen, the switch of the color does require a lot of concentration. It is very uh, difficult to switch the color like that. Um, But you would have... Still thoughtless and had to this morning. All right, right, right. All right, so. So that's that. Okay, now, let me show you. So today, uh, I'm thinking Spongebob. Oh. I will post this live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, But, I mean, I will save this and post it tomorrow. Um, the Spongebob. So, I was thinking of the background first. I have to have a background. Um, I love this right here. So, it's like, like a soft blue turned into, I know that Spongebob does have a uh, pastel-ish color. So, blue turned into purple to pink and then went into yellow. So, some orange in between. I like that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take Bright fairy gel color. I'm gonna mix white into it. Um, so that is a background. I want this SpongeBob right here. I want that little guy, and the blue in his eye. I want it to be red hot. So <clears throat> let's see. hold on a second. I want to do it the same as you. What products? Um, do you I need? will. So I kind of paint SpongeBob. So I. You have to have art gel out and fairy gel out. That's the two most important, art gel, fairy gel, and brushes. Um, I might mess with a little glam gels, but that's totally unnecessary. I, I might mess with it, but if, if you don't have it, that's fine. Glam gel and spark gels. Um, so I want that sponge box and I want this little guy right here. Whatever he is. Um, I might do something funny on him, like with a bra or something. Like a hot bra on him or something like that, something funny. So that is what I have in mind for today. 
<clears throat> well, wait. <clears throat> she said she's going to be doing it with you. This isn't going to be with them situations like you're venturing out in the woods and you're getting chased by somebody that's hunting you down and they sprang their ankle and you got to drag them through the woods. And yeah. No, I, I, I love it. I love it. Yes, uh, do it with me. I, I would do it slower because the people that are uh, learning or re-watching it that I do along also do it slow too. So I, I, I do it a little slower for you. Oh, that's awful sweet. Okay, now. I don't need to come yet. Okay. And. Hello, Marlene. All right, now let's do the color first. So I am gonna take fairy tale. I'm gonna take care of these colors. So. Fairy Charles, are you pink? Hi, 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 uh, tip by Deb. Hello, hello, everyone. Pink. Okay, uh, yellow. So, in between, maybe orange. And then, salmon is next to orange. In between the pink, salmon the moss, and yellow the moss. This one and this one is just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna apply it on the background. And then uh, I'm gonna get blue. Okay, so I need these fairy tale colors out, and let's plan on the finger. I want SpongeBob right in the middle. Let's see. Uh, let me go to Messengers and SpongeBob. Okay, so. SpongeBob gonna be in the middle finger looking over to the right. This one gonna looking over to the left. So SpongeBob is yellow. So the background, I don't want any yellow on the background. So let's look over here. So yellow is definitely out. So the background, I'm thinking of pink, these kind of pink, and orange ish. Okay. Ish. Uh -huh oranges and then this little guy next so he's pink mm. okay I want to avoid pink so I'm I'm gonna have blue and yellow on the other side okay yeah blue blue green and yellow but more just a little bit of green more blue and yellow more all right, so that is what I'm gonna do. So, just by paying attention, because she's like, "What colors will we need?" And then you kept reaching for things and saying more. To me, that means you're gonna be mixing some stuff, aren't you? Maybe. 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 All right, so let's paint it the color middle finger first. And <clears throat> that is Patrick the starfish. Patrick the Starfish. Well, we kind of know that you kept referring to it as this guy, this guy. So it, make, it leads me to believe you don't know, you haven't watched too much Spongebob. Not really. Me <sighs> Lucky childhood, get to watch cartoon. You don't have to work in the sweatshop. Oh, so lucky. Lucky American children. Okay, now. So, let's zoom in. Okay, let's see where it is. All right, now I am going to start with orange on the very left with fairy gel. Okay. Now I'm going to take out a little palette because I like to uh, clean ombre on this palette. It's easier for me. And um, if you want to wet it a little top coat, you can, but fairy gel is so easy to blend. You don't need to wet it with really anything. It's powder. You can blend it out very easy with powders. So a little orange right here. Further on the side and then I just further down. See that? Just further it out. 
I mean, I don't, I don't feel like we've said hi to anyone or, or you know. I haven't. Like jumped in there and just started working. I, I just dive into and action oh, immediately. I you and yeah, I, I just. You're just so happy and excited and you just. All that's, that's why you have to read the comment now. I mean, you start off, you said, I'm going to You have to read the comment now and then you tell me who's here and then, you know, I mean, ugh, you hear the help. Well, well I don't ever want to interrupt during the teaching process either. And I, I doesn't really need to keep it long. I only keep, need to keep it for a few seconds before I take salmon and apply on salmon next to it. <clears throat> I feel like our promise of slow down or, or you know. I am slowing down. Up or is slowly drifting away. I am slowing down. Okay, now. <laughs> Yo. I'm red. Down like this. Okay. And then the other side, you'll notice that I, when I do this, it's uh, mostly diagonal. I will explain here in a second why it's diagonal when I'm ombre. Instead of just doing this like this, I, I, I uh, crisscross it. That, that is a reason. Right? Yeah, and a good reason, probably. It's a good reason. I mean, look at how beautiful it is. Of course, it's a good reason. Okay, now. And you know, another thing I've noticed is when you get excited, you design and paint quicker. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you get very excited about something, you start it's like you can't hurry up to get it done. All right. So cute. Okay, cute this. Okay, and, and then I'm going to put pink right next to it. But let me explain for you why. So, if when you ombre and you go down like this, right? If you go down, then all you have is an upward vertical streak. Okay. So let's say you do one stroke, look like this. You do another stroke, another stroke. So three more stroke, four more stroke. If you're lucky, it will fill in all this space. But if you're not lucky, then it will match up with all this and there's still empty space. So that's why sometimes people keep stroking it and you keep having this streak. So this is the reason why I diagonal it because when you go to the left, okay, doesn't matter how many strokes, I should do one stroke. But of course, when you go to the right, look at that, my friend. Look at what you're doing. Okay. Hopefully, you can absorb that. Okay. That is maximum coverage. That is the reason why I diagnose it. Because you will miss this. You would stroke it 10 times, it was right. still going to have space. That makes sense. This one, you stroke it a few times. There you go. Maximum coverage. So, I am going to get some pink out. And I'll do it one more time. And hopefully this time, you know what I'm doing. We get it now. We get it. You get it now? We understand. You get it now. Understood, understood now? Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, now. So... What I was getting at earlier was a universal. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I did. Yeah. I did my intro. Oh, my. I say hi, every. Yes, yeah, I, I did. Mean, I most of them got here. Yes, I did. Yeah. And by the way, I don't like to plan over. I don't like to plan from right to left. It's just awkward. So that is, hold on. That is when I, I really tell Becky to turn over for me. You know what I mean? Thank you, Becky. So stretch a little bit. Yeah. Look at that guy. A lovely is not focused at all. This is like this is like if you don't like pigment ombre, which you have to know how, then please try fairy gels tonight. Of course right. hopefully you have an ombre brush. Oh yeah, they're not gonna be wait. I know they wanna try that. I know they wanna try it right now. Longing for it, of course, but they have to be here because if they if they distract it and go to the station to get something and try it, that method, then they mix 
They miss the next one. They said blends like <laughs> butter. Mm. So ne- they miss the next one because tonight they're gonna. Uh, there's some newbie in town. There's some new technique in town. Newbie. Yeah, yeah, some newbie. Okay, okay now this one I have decided on that pink guy. So I'm gonna put just, just a little pink right here, but that's it. <clears throat> you know, maybe we should have had like uh, for perimeter nail- nails that was doing them with you. Mm-hmm. We should have had like a H button or an easy access to where if she gets behind, she could just hit one button to alert you that you're going a little quick uh-huh. because. Oh. Stop designing to type like, hey, damn it, slow down or ask a question. It's going to get frustrating. The brushes are going to fly across the thing. Ugh. I'm just trying to create a less stress environment, honey. Sure, sure. Oh, you're welcome, Minerva. You're welcome. See, every time that there is not a possibility, because before I have taught you a pigment ombre. Still, some people doesn't not very good on pigment. Some people do very good on pigment. Some people not. So that's comes the gel ombre. Now the berry gel with the brush. You guys, there's so many ways to do ombre now. So, so pick one. Ways. Just whatever. Pick yeah, one. whatever you like. Just pick one. There's many ways. Talk many ways to approach it. So the sky is your limit. Sky is the limit. Okay, now. Some blue. I want a lot of blue. And a lot of yellow. Mm -hmm. So blue over here. And I'm not necessarily want to do it straight up and down. You just want to get a lot on there. Yeah, but the heading that way, so might as well. Straight up and down. Okay. Some more blue over here. <laughs> oh, you said we love Tino tips. I tell everyone tips, tips, tips when I see people on nail pages asking for help. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh you guys, thank you to, to uh, recommend for me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, Thank you for recommending my product. Paradise says ring, question mark. Because I have a lot of, uh, I have a really good algorithm on my page, but still, um, there's still people that haven't been able to see what's going on. There's still people that are wondering out there. Uh, yeah, 1,400 questions all of a sudden. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. We'll leave Jiggy last. She, she, can, she can wait. What question is that? Um, later on, can you show us how to use the clear silicone again? Okay. Remind us at the end. It's Cougar Claws is curious. Cougar Claws is curious. i right. well. leather latex lately. <laughs> silicone. And, uh, <laughs> Jiggy wants to know, uh, how this. did you prep the nail? Did you prep the nail with anything? No. Nope. Nothing. Just pen directly on it. And mm. then <clears throat> ring finger. She says you're going too fast. You're going too fast. Slow down. Slow down. What? I'm going fast? You yeah. kidding? You gotta be kidding. Okay, some green. I wish I can speed this forward because <clears throat> it's literally the same motion over and over. For each oh, color. No. This this step right here, you don't need me to do super slow. Oh wait, we're doing we're doing the uh step by step. I forgot. <laughs> the, oh we were we're painting together. That's right, that's right. Painting together. That's right, okay. You've got it. Okay, so <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so so and see I knew this painting together was gonna you didn't understand my example, but very, right now she just got ate by the bear. That's what happened. Oh okay. So very lightly. Very lightly stroke it in the opposite motion. 
now very lightly, you know, just very lightly stroke it in the other end right here. Just up and down till it's perfect, see that? Just crisscross it. Just remember the crisscrosses. Crisscrosses. So it's provide you maximum coverage. Maximum coverage. Sound like an insurance um it, soothing. advertising. Advertisement. Oh, I'm a newbie but I've grown to love you. Wish uh-huh. I lived by you might come visit soon. Mm-hmm. Oh. Get this. Hi, hi, Catherine. Listen, you better really focus on the slogan a little bit. I won't even talk fast. Okay. You got a few. So now I take out yellow. I'm just flask here. And this is a little, you don't have to flask here the whole minute until you're done with the whole nails. Maybe I know this is hard for you, but like you said, yellow. You can say yellow. You can take out the fairy gel yellow. Yes, pinky. This now will be safe. Yellow fairy gel. I love that there's several people doing this with him. I'm doing everything I can to slow him down a little bit. You give me the signal, I'll just knock See, that. you just applying yellow. Vertically like this. Now you starting to blend. So remember crisscross motion all the way, honey. All the way. Then take it away. Now the other direction. <laughs> remember, I just use the tip of my brush, of my ombre brush. You don't press it. You don't do it like this. You don't do it like that. No. You just see the tip. You just touch it with the tip. And you just like that. That's it. Just using the tip and tease it. And tease it? Yeah. Just a little bit. Not much. Very light. Very light pressure. Like fer- feathering. Very light, light pressure. Let me tilt it down so I can see the, the shadow that what I'm doing wrong. I was busy talking, so I didn't tilt it down. So the glare got in my uh, the way. Vision. Yeah, the glare got in the way. This can affect the blending if I don't see the color without the glare. Okay, good, good, good. Like right, right here, the green is not very even with the blue just because of the glare it getting in the way. I thought that it's perfect, but it turned out not. So make sure you tilt it down <laughs> when you blend it. Slow down a little bit. <laughs> okay, now. Hear this? <laughs> Just stroke the tips. See that? Just stroke the tip. Incidentally, the stop sign emoji is a beautiful one. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna cure two of these. Okay, so this side is green. Okay, so I'm gonna do green, uh, yellow, I mean yellow. Mm, yellow and uh, orange. This one is orange, uh, orange and yellow. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna kill this. Where the hell is SpongeBob? Uh, we should do no background. Oh, okay. So we really have to think about this one. Yes, oh, yes. Ooh. I put green on the left side. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of yellow right here. So I'm going to start with, uh, actually, no. Now, for you Spongebob ladies doing this with us, I feel like this is going to be a trust the process situation. Orange. I'm going to take orange, and I'm going to add it in the left side of the pinky. So I'm taking the pinky, and I put a little bit of orange fairy gel on the left side. Just a little bit, just like that. See in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna blend out on both sides. Just lightly stroke it on the edge, very lightly. Okay, the opposite way, just to spread it out, make it thin. Okay, 
lightly and stroke it out on the edge. And then lightly stroke it into the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And continue repeating that motion to blend out the colors. Remember very light because if you press, you will leave a streak in it. Streak. Mm -hmm. Light enough that you did, doesn't hurt the fragile surface. Here. Really, I can't iterate how much soft that, that how much not pressure he's putting on it when he does that. This is the index fingers. With the index fingers, I use the same orange. But this time, I feel it all the way on the right. All the way on the right. Now, with that, I go ahead and blend a little bit out. Again, I like to blend from left to right. It's easier for me. So, it's, it will probably be easier for you too to blend from left to right. Question. Unless you're left-handed. Question. Tino, would it be hard to use art gel for this process? Uh, for this process, if you art gel, you have to do it in a different way. To do art gel, you have to stroke it with a flat brush, not with an ombre brush or a liner brush. You have to stroke it with a flat brush. Like when I'm teaching, you have to do a stitch. That was art gel. So if you want to see this process with art gel, then you have to watch that live when I do stitch and angel because the process is not like this. It's a different process. But yes, you can totally use art gel for that too. I use art gel a lot when I do just two colors. Hear this. When I do just two colors, I use art gel a lot. But um, today, this background involves a lot of colors. So this is, in my mind, easier for me. Mm. Yellow. Just choose whatever is easier for you. And whatever you choose today, that doesn't mean you have to repeat it tomorrow because another design might be easier when you approach it in the other direction with other product. Just really depend on your mood, what you're ready for today. You know uh, <clears throat> now a few methods of vertical ombre, including the pigment vertical ombre that I have taught last year. Um, this year I will go over it again sometime. When I have time, I go over it again. Uh, with art gel, it's the one stroke process? Art gels, yes, with the one stroke process. That's how you use it. Okay. Let's take it out and see it. Okay, so pink right here. So this yellow and low green. Okay. Oh. Cougar wants to know about matte. Matte top coat? No, no. Matt going to school. Oh, yes. He, uh, Matt, we... <clears throat> we'll wait till they need you to slow down and then <laughs> tell her what happened. <sighs> oh, but poor Matt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. Damn it. My body's like, he's doing great. He's doing well. Well, there went my great idea. <laughs> I was getting ready to tell Island Girl how you got kicked out of class, kicked the teacher. I know, right? Gosh, they no fun. Flipped a couple tables. Oh, God, that would be so much fun. Squirted acetone in someone's eye on the way out the door. Oh, my God, I love it. Last thing he did was threw a match in their place, and he walked off like Firestarter. Oh, my but, God. But no, I guess we'll know if he's doing Walk off like Firestarters. That's funny. Hear this. He's going to do good. He's going to really do good.
Okay, now here I'm gonna have some yellow. I remember when he just found you. You no. had all those questions and stuff. And like I'm not into the nail, but I want to get into it. Right. And I was like, oh man, you need to give it up. <laughs> Okay, now, just very l lightly though, remember, very, very light. Very light. I think he was in like the medical profession or something like that. Really? I think. Like a nurse? Oh my God, that's such a stressful uh, job is nursing. I got so many. Hey, uh, don't quote me on that. If not, I'll make something up a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and I do need some purples for this. I just know I need it because I, I have looked to several posts of Spongebob. I know that this light pastel purple is in there, so I'm gonna put it in. Okay, a little purple right here. Maybe some uh, white pigment base. I think it might be a red cross he works for. Oh, what's, what's that? I'm not exactly sure. Like a cult? They, like a rat class? My, my personal... I don't know anything about it except for... It sounds like a cult. A blood business. Oh, so, like a blood cult? I think so. Ooh. Think. That's different. That's alternative. Well, not blood cult. I don't think they use blood and cult. They throw donation in there. But oh! Oh, oh that's it does classy. It some kind of... Boy, cult oh, like the donation. Ooh, that's glassy. Okay, now some green over here. Oh, it does look like Jolly Ranchers. Hey, Nicole. It kind of does sound like a cult now that you mention it. <laughs> Red Cross. Oh, a blood coat? I didn't know that. I never heard of Red Cross. Oh, that's sweet. A coat. Oh. What, what kind of coat is it? Besides oh, blood. They said, Red Cross. I knew somebody told us. Enlighten us. Tonight we learn. It says, Red Cross is a humanitarian service and blood uh, donation. They help during crisis. Yes. Uh, can me on pigment be mixed with our gel? It can. Uh, it helped during crisis like hurricanes and earthquakes. But remember, the more um, the more pigment it is, the more you have to apply the thing, so it can kill properly. Or you can mix our gel with other our gel. Okay, now some purple, probably about right here. Can <coughs> neon pigment be mixed with art gel? I answer that. Oh. Hmm. This is watching you and Beauty and the Beast. I feel like we are beating the beast. Yeah. You're the beast? Definitely. Yes. I think there's any doubt about that. Okay, now. Lie. Purple right here. Just because. Just because? Just because. At this moment, it's just slight adjustment. I'm adding a little purple here and there. But that's SpongeBob colors. SpongeBob colors. <clears throat> oh, 
shit. I mean, Matt's in here now. We gotta quit talking about it. Hi, Matt. Well, he says he can't hear something about opening next, so I guess we can talk about him. Right, right, right. Good, good, good. They were wondering where you work before you do nails. I never know. Red Cross is a blood coat. <laughs> that is so, like, interesting. I love it. Well, the consensus is, is they go in and help people. Oh, Which, of course. That's what a cult would say. That what they, yeah, that's what they yeah. would do. That's no surprise. Never once in the introduction to a cult were they like, and we're going to get people. No, right, no, no. no. It's, it's always, always give. Right, always give. Yeah. Always help. And then always option for donation. Yeah, so classy. On, when you're on Dateline. Right, right. Like Killing people's. I knew it didn't feel right. Okay, now some some light blue will help too. Let me see. Yeah, here. Yeah. So you see, from a vertical ombre, now it's become like a blemish. A blemish. Mm -hmm, a blemish. Blue, right here. Adding some pigment base too. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna get the chit chatting. Pretty good. The problem with this is, unlike the computer, uh -huh. what it would do is lump up like such and such and 40 other people joined. Okay. Whereas this one just notches every single person and comments all together. Oh, you know what I mean? So that's the other beautiful. One, yeah, the other one will kind of hold back in between comments, let you know how many come. No, oh, no, this is like quick. Oh, you got it. This is perfect. What do you mean it's perfect? Well, isn't it supposed to be Not perfect? Not for my reading, because it goes, and then I see something big, and I think, oh, crap, i got to read it. And then I go back to read it, and then it's jumping. Uh -huh. So I've got eye twitches now. That's all I'm saying. I want to make sure it's a little deeper than this. The good news is, they've got each other. Yes, and that's good. That is good. It's like a family, like a big really family. Good. When you have your first children... When you have the second children, it's all hard work. But then the third one, by the time you have the third one, the first one is already ready to take care of the third one. Then from then on, there's no more work. Right. The children just take care of themselves. And Beautiful. The kids isn't a chore anymore. He right. Keep having sex and shoot them out. Yeah. So the they will feed parents. each other and take care of each other, keep each other warm. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, now, a little bit blue down here, too. And the Amish, they really do turn into a business like that. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Or at least around here. Oh. They have you. You are hooked to them, too. They get all your money from 16 to 21. I know, right? That is like... <clears throat> that's, that's, I, I, I like how that worked, though. Because the parents get... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, they train the children like that. Yeah, all the money that the children make, the parents keep until they turn 16. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they really give it to them when they turn 16. This is our big dysfunctional family. Ain't that the truth? Okay. This is beautiful so far. Mm -hmm. I'm really loving it, by the way. Lots of love back and forth about that. It's beautiful. A little yellow right there here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love fairy gels. But in oh next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, our um so I finally know the exact day of the uh, top coat and Matt top coat, Sean top coat. Wednesday is arrived. So that is a day. However, in that shipment, contain clear metal, uh, clear uh, texture effect. It have contain clear texture effect. So that is a big day, because, uh, well, I have to take picture and everything. Pop, pop. I probably wouldn't have it available right away, but uh, clear texture effect. I will. It come Wednesday. I will probably have on WhatsApp by Sunday, because Cindy have to bring it to me. 
I think I see Cindy, Cindy Thursday. So Wednesday, the shipment arrived. That's perfect timing, actually. Clear this. Clear texture effect. I have a feeling that uh, I will pick that up a lot. Um, kind of give 3D Cherry a rest. 3D Cherry have done a lot of hard work for us throughout the year. <laughs> but uh, clear texture effect will um, get a little load of 3D Cherry because this one the opposite of 3D Cherry. It's not, it's not uh, cell leveling at all. Um, it's the opposite of cell leveling. But since it's clear, you can apply it however thick you you want to. You can apply it really, really thick. You can build sculpture on it. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the way you were talking about the 3D jelly and how much it's done. But that's, that's stuff you say to your horse before you take it out in the pasture and shoot it in the lake. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're such a good horse. And we appreciated all your service over the years. And <laughs> Did they really do that to horses? Oh, God, yes. Oh my god, I mean, that's horrible. It's not all of them. Oh. Know. I mean, at least eat it. You know, on it. Eat the meat and everything. <laughs> Cook it, make soup out of it. But just shoot it by the lake. That's awful. That is awful. Well, at that point, honey, you have to treat it like it's deer or venison or game or something. Oh my god, that is so awful. All that meat. My god. But it's old, work for your whole life kind of meat. Mm. Rugged, you gotta really still. Oh, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I know how you are. That's uh, that's yeah, disrespecting yeah. nature. That is disrespecting nature. Well, Hear this put, to shoot an animal and you're, not to eat it is you're, a you're putting it out of its misery, though. Is the mm. concept, yeah, but not to eat it. That's that that's not respecting nature. The, the that that's uh, wasteful. I don't know. Okay, I'm ready for SpongeBob. Sorry, it takes uh, a while. Um, if, if oh wait, I told you, I, I told you that I'm I'm slowing down, so I did. Yes. All right, I'm now. Happy. Um, Mr. SpongeBob, hello, Mr. SpongeBob. So I can either do it two ways. I can paint it all yellow. Okay, so I don't need to sketch. I can either sketch first with Eater's pencil, which I'm not gonna do that. Or you can sketch with a gel pen, okay? You, so you can sketch foot and fill in the color. Now, if you don't want to sketch, you can do yellow first and brown first and then put in some stained glass and all that. But by doing that, you're going to be laying colors. Like this. Like you have yellow, all of it. So white will be on top of yellow. Blue will be on top of white. So... So you'll be laying color, so it'll be thick and chunky. My favorite way is sketch it out first. Because then you can put yellow where yellow is supposed to be, white where it's supposed to be. You're not going to stack it gonna if you stack. sketch it out first. So I'm going to sketch it out. I'm going to matte all of it and sketch it out. Matte it. Wickle, wickle, wickles. The wiggles, wiggles, wiggles. I have a little piece right here. It's an old map. Remember, I'm running low just like you guys. I can't wait for Wednesday to arrive. <laughs> yeah. So it's not gonna it's not gonna require time or whatever to uh put it on a website because it's already on a website. They just turn they just activate it right in that day. In fact I might tell them to activate it like a day earlier. Just in case people make orders so can arrive the next day and get it. Kill this. Man, I don't know about that. What happens if it's going right down the wickle, road? Wickle, two wickle, miles wickle. Away, bam. Freak bridge accident. Oh no! Top coat all over the road. No. <coughs> oh, devastated. No. This one's burning hand bills, man. Now, back to your horse issue. Will it make you feel better if if you knew that what they usually do around here is they put the horse out of its misery and then they call a rendering plant and they come and they get it and they process the horse and they. 
oh. meat and they cook it off. And oh, good. Turn it into dog food. Oh, good, or good, cat food or whatever. Oh, that's uh, good. Oh, that's so sweet. Boiled down, used for glue. Oh, that is so sweet. Maybe some horse. Now food. that that is some good. Yeah, that's some good thing right, right there. Now? All right. Yes, as long as it get horse that get eaten, what? as long as someone or something get eat that you, horse, you, it's you good. Give me a chance to explain the whole okay. process. Okay, okay, so good. I feel much better now, more humane. Yeah, you know? yeah, I feel much better now. Mm. I'm glad. I'm glad it's get eaten. Okay, now, struck it all the way down. And I'm doing this, I'm removing gel, so I don't want to put it back in the bottle. That's why I'm putting it on the palette. <laughs> you know, so she uses other people's mat when she's practicing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that is so, that is so sweet. I love it because that's exactly what I do. That, that, that exactly what I do before before I um have product like this. I have a product that are my favorite, and of course I have other products that are not my favorite. But you know, many company um sponsor me, and so my favorite company I will not use it when I'm not doing like an extra set. When I'm practice, I use other company that I'm less is my less favorite. Yes, uh-huh. I use it for practice. Oh my god, that is so sweet. I just do it on top coat. On matte and on shine. Especially shine. Because I use a lot. I use it a lot. So I always use like crappy shine when I'm practice. And when I'm actually doing it on client, <laughs> then I use my favorite shine. Has metal effect been given the chop and then someone's no. I'm also asking what was coming in Wednesday. Um, matter of fact, it's not giving a job. Um, it's going to arrive in about a month. It's going to be a long time since matter of fact arrived, but uh, we're not discontinuing it. Um, just because it's, it's, it's different in consistency and people do like it. Um, now, what were the question? Oh, what coming in Wednesday? Wednesday, um, Sula Pan is coming in. Our uh, 3D gel is coming in, but 3D gel is not out. I just, I just order more. And then matte and shine is coming in. Thanks God. Huh. Matte and shine coming in, and then clear texture effect coming in, which is a new item. Okay, so SpongeBob. Okay. So you can either do it like this. I don't know if I did, I meant to, and I may not have, or I already did, but hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Okay, you can do it like this. I'm going to show you two ways. Way number one. It's funny because there's a bunch of people flared up all of a sudden. That's way number one. Okay. Now, for beginner, I show you way number two. This for beginners. Okay. A straight line. Now you curve. So you have something to keep you level. And then you go over with filler brush. And some Aston or some alcohol, whatever you like. And you clean underneath. For beginner. For anyone that is insecure with making curve without uh, having a gauge, way more difficult than already have a gauge. So whichever way you like. All right. Okay, now let's paint. So. Oh my cat, this is hilarious. <laughs> so someone asked Karen, because she's flirting on her, said, 
if it was legal in her state, so you know, she get some CBD oil. Karen, you from the United States? And then, yes. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, she... I thought Karen is German. She drove to Vegas not too long ago, remember? Okay. She was on the road. But, uh... Flash kill this. She, she has her medical card, but out where she's at, they don't have good stuff. So that's her problem. She doesn't, she doesn't have good weed. Oh, Karen. Ooh. We we it's legal like yesterday with us, right? No, with us? It's been, it's no, been legal. Oh, okay. Medical just got recreational. Okay, so here, okay. This is it's a little sleeve, so I'm going down like a V, but it's the edge is blunt. Okay, I'm starting right there now. In here, I'm making a little C. See my little C? Or, I mean, not a curve at the C, but just a little curve right here. Okay. Now, here, going up one line. Two line. Okay. And that is a hand, so I make a curve. And then, uh huh, uh huh, and then the thumb, and then this one cup here, another finger up here. Okay. Now the sleeve, you finish rounding it, but avoiding the hand. Okay. Okay, good. Now slant it down, avoiding the sleeve. Mm -hmm. Remember if they're going, he's going with you. Okay, okay. Slant it up. But remember the little wiggle that is half because it's a sponge. <laughs> That's why I found out it's SpongeBob. SpongeBob is a sponge. Okay, now. With that. Go ahead and do a little curve right here. Here. Straight line down, all the way down. Okay, now from here, it's going slanted to the right. Okay, this one also slanted to the left. Is that is this dimension right there? Okay, going down. Okay, now you're gonna draw the little tie foot. So, little tie foot here, you make one curve, small curve, right here. And then you slant it to the left and then slant it to the right. Do the opposite, slant to the right and then slant to the left. Now, up here you're doing the collar, so you slant it to the left, and then again slant to the right. Do that with these two, slant left and slant right, two low V. Now, from here, you slant parallel to this line, but avoiding the tie, like this. <coughs> Honey. Now, here, you slant it to the left also. Okay, just like that. Then, <laughs> you're gonna flash kill just a little bit. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> they didn't realize that was the arm. Some of them, okay, mm -hmm. one of them. And then, <clears throat> the only thing that she could have perceived it being was possibly a Persuasion penis. Oh. Which is even worse because at the angle that that arm was drawn at, 
right? It's mm-hmm. like it's coming down to get a big, you know what I mean? One of those well, point of view kind of situations. Well, I wish you a lot of fun wherever imagination take you. Let it take over us. Okay, now, uh, little nose. So I'm going to draw the mouth first. So this is just a, a soft curve across. Now, this is a deep curve going down before you curve. Okay. This one here going down, slanted to the left, more slanted to the left. So as you can see, this curve down here is much smaller than this curve up here. And it's deeper. Now, I am to control two little T for the SpongeBob. <coughs> One land down, another land down, another just, land just down. Just so you know, land down. two minutes ago, mm-hmm. I was alerted by one of the girls that they were still on the background. Mm-hmm. So, I know you can't slow down too much more. But there was a comment that came. I just want to point this out from Queen, from Elizabeth, Queen mm-hmm. Activity. Who said that it was too small to be a penis? Wow. 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 Now, I would expect that out of Cougar Claw. You wow. Know what Luck. I mean? Wow. I, I, that, for sure. I, who? From I, who? Queen Activity? Oh, Queen Activity. You go, girl. Good for yeah, you. Fact, when it started going in the gutter, I figured that was, you know, good my for opinion. you, girl. Don't get pregnant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, now you curve down. And stop right here. Just a tiny bit of curve. We do in um uh what you call it? The black hole in the throat. The black hole in the throat. You curve uh, up and you curve down again. Throat hole? I don't know. It's a black hole in the throat. I'm just Esophagus. gonna Esophagus. I'm just gonna fill this in too. See, I prefer drawing like this because then you work with one even layers. Okay, now here. Touching bag. And I'm gonna do so one little slit right here. Let me zoom in. Little slit right here, and then now curve in this one. Also curving in. Okay. Just like that. Little donut. Now we draw in the nose. We watch the position from the nose to the mouth versus from the nose to the forehead or big distance. I say from here that not even half. Be aware of it. Uh did Dreamtime power? Did it got power down there? Dreamtime? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Did it power go out? Well, well, I don't know, but right now, um, in Missouri, we are. <clears throat> no, no. Well, Pinky said, "Do you know if the power no at, is back up in the office warehouse since the snow ice storm?" Oh, I don't know. So then I don't know. You gotta text Kyla. Yeah. Because Missouri have been icing. But I don't see them being... Out too long because it, well, they, they have a lot of orders. And yeah, Dreamtime have, have a lot of orders. Right. Tonsils, that's the name of the little punching bag thing, honey. In the back of the throat. There's some eyes right here, a little tonsil. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Jamie said it's, <clears throat> and this is more technical. Than and I'm not going to feel in the eye just for your imagination to be done wild a little bit before I do the eyes. So I'm going to just leave it like this. And then I'm going to go down. Okay? So I'm going to go down here. And right here, I'm slanted to the left just a little. Too low line. This is going to be the pain. So curve in the bottom. Okay, same right here, slanted, slanted, and then curve. 
Actually, not not that curvy. That is too curvy. Too curvy. About right here. Jamie said they call the uvula. The uvula. That sounds too much like vagina. I wouldn't even feel comfortable using that. I wouldn't go to a throat doctor and think that's the surface. Here it is. Wow. Uvova activates the gag reflex. See, that's what I would feel like a Uvova would do. It's got to be doing something. Wow, you guy. How do you know that? All this from a SpongeBob arm. A nice, how insightful. Harmless, innocent character. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how insightful is mm. that? It really is, though. It's pretty impressive. Impressive? Mm -hmm. Is that what we're... Now, here, drawing the leg, you slant it down. And then slant it up. Same thing. Another line parallel to it. Slant it down. Slant it up. Top it up right here. Have a little shoe for it. Okay. Same thing here. Slant it down. Okay. And then I am out of space. So they doesn't show the leg over here, but they do show the leg over here. So I'm turning this down. Oh wow! I, and then I put the leg here. You know, I can always tell when I really, and I appreciate this. This is not a complaint. When I really mispronounce something crazy is when they spell it like I should see it. So it's you, you up. You view, view, I don't know. Uvula. You view, like the you. uvula. I love when they do that, though. And then this slanted to left and to right and then curve. Is SpongeBob in the show or a movie? I'm not sure. You know, we had a watch. I just know that it's a things. We. And because it's a thing, we should watch it. And I think that my SpongeBob legs is too short. Is it like that or is it short? What is it? Hmm. Well, it's not a penis. Well, I just want to make sure that it's not too short. I don't know SpongeBob. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to erase this. What if we watched it and love it? What if, <clears throat> they said he's not innocent. Oh. We definitely have to watch it then. I know, right? Okay, now, SpongeBob, you go down. A little cut right here. Now, the shoe this time, I'm gonna make it slanted. Slanted down. Going down, slant it to the right, making a deep curve. Then straight up and then curve at the top a little bit, a little curve at the top. Hello, Dale. Hello, TLC. And then going up, going down, and curve. There's the legs. Yay! SpongeBob leg. We make something that are not there. Okay, now. Yeah. Here. So, time to do the other guy. Okay. So, this squid guy right here, we're going to take... Squid guy. Um... We're gonna measure it. So we put sponge back right here, and we measure the squid guys. So the eyes, the eyes are about right here. Okay. So the top then, so this is the eye. They meet eye with each other. So we're taking the squid guy, and we're gonna add eyeball to it. One circle, and I will make sure that the eye 
match it. The same size eye. As long as the eye have the same size. Okay, now curve up here and for beginner you can complete your curve for beginners. Another pair of eyes right here. I mean, another eyes right about here. And then you take fill up brush and you go ahead and erase this. See that? <clears throat> okay, you know what? I think we need to watch this. Because most of these people are close to and around in between our age, mm -hmm. right? So cool. We're not talking to kids here. So they've, get, they've gotten a lot of amusement out of it. Like Pinky said, one of them's a bad character, right? Cartoons I grew up with, they didn't really have bad characters. So it's got to be pretty good, on this, I'm assuming. Okay, so two curve for the mouth and then one curve for the tongues, another curve in, just like this, okay. Now, oh man, that's big. Okay, like a teardrop, easy, just like a teardrop. So, slant it from here, slant. Mm, I'm going to mark it first just to make sure. About right here, stop. So. Oh my God. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, from the distance, from the eye, from the eye to the mouth. Okay. It's equal to from the mouth to the belly button. Same height. Easy. So I assumed that they were just watching it themselves. They just pointed out that most of them have kids. That's oh, why that's right. why. Right. We don't have kids. We don't. They said there's a lot of great in your windows, though, and that we would love it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Because we don't watch it ever. Right. And what if it's something we're completely anti? I like South Park. Against, right. And you know, we want to start a big protest, and here we've just been doing SpongeBob and and and. We may find that we're going to get on here one day and be like, we're doing anti-Spongebob. I'm not sure what that would be. Okay, curve. It's about right here. Space, and then complete the curve. Down here, you go down. One, two, curve. And then here, slant it to the right. Land it to the left and complete the blunt edge. Same thing here. Straight down, straight down, curve. Slant it to the right. Okay, now here, this distance right here from the mouth to the eye is equal to from the eye to the top of head. Easy. Easy. From here. Okay. Now, slant it to the left, but a little flat. On, onto about right here, and then start to slope it down. Okay. Oh, I see. I have to make it even with this line. Oh, I see. That's a little tricky right there. No problems. <laughs> is it, is it you're like a printer. <laughs> like uh, for beginners. For beginners, no, you're um, like a... mark one up here. Now for beginner from here, you go straight and then you curve.
just like that and then this you curve down and then you stop and then this so you slant it to the left now you slant it to the right okay now fill a brush go in and remove extra line Ooh. I dip in art gel instead of dipping in Aston. Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna put another arm, flash cure this a little bit while we're putting arms into it. Okay, now. Here, right here, this distance up an arm, so I'm going out right. However, from here to here, is equal to. So this is level with the eyes. This is level with the eyes. Okay, so I level with the eye, making a dot right here. Now you slant it to the right. You want it to match. See mouth. See the mouth. You want it to almost match it. Here, a little bit lower. From here to here is equal to from here to here. See that? From this mouth, the distance of this mouth is equal to this space. Mm. So near the mouth, stop. Now, from here to here is equal to from here to here. This is where your arm is. So, from the top, connected. That's an arm. Now, a bra. So, here this first, and I'm going to draw like a bra. Uh, what's the name of this starfish? Uh, Patrick, I think. Patrick. Yeah. Okay, Patrick. So remember, when your client comes in, they got a picture of something. Right before you paint it, say, "Can I borrow your phone?" And right. then you start just doing what he did and just drawing on it. So Patrick, right? Uh -huh. So sponge, Bob, Patrick, Patrick the starfish in a bra. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Snap. Okay, now. So, I'm going to uh, turn drag Patrick into a drag queen. So, I'm zooming in. And here, I'm going to draw the lip for Patrick. So uh, here I am going to draw the eye, the eyelid, the eyelid for Patrick. Okay, just like this. Oh, that's not Patrick, that Patricia? Whatever, that's, that's, the, oh my God. it's a drag queen Patrick. <gasps> okay, so. <laughs> now we're going to do some lips. I love you. So lipstick for Patrick's. And then... How about we'll set a lot of Patricia? And then a bra for Patrick. So Patricia. Okay. Yeah. So curve. Just like this. And then, uh, we don't want her bra to touch her belly button. So, we make one curve all the way in here. And, and how quick he, he... And then another curve. Decided like it was the drag queen version. Okay, so... Okay, good. Now, um, 
there I'm gonna be a wick on it so you do one curve another curve another curve they're gonna be blonde so one curve right here one curve right here and then one down And then this going down too, curve down. But this distance is bigger than this distance. Okay. Now, slant, slant down, keep slanting down just like this to make the hair. Honey, now you're gonna put a skirt on them. Her. No, I'm gonna keep the pan. You're making it. I'm making it. Uh, Extravagant. I'm gonna this keep is, the pant. So I'm gonna wear a pant with a bra. Kind of a reversion. Yes, yes. Yeah, the pant is on still. He said, What about Gary the Snail? That's SpongeBob's pet. Uh, you know what? We'll convert that to. Ew, that's more character? Sherry, who's frail? That's more character than yeah. this? Let's see what else we can come up with. I only see, I, I thought that's it. Well, see, <clears throat> what's happening is this. I don't know if this is tunnel vision or, or, or such great focus because what you've done is you started with one picture, you got out of that picture what you thought was the best characteristics, then moved on to another picture this. of a completely different character. You didn't even see it as a great artist who can just completely recreate exact you didn't notice that this this is a female in a skirt with hair. So obviously there was one specific feature you was going after. What was it? I, I, I don't care if it's a female or a male. <clears throat> All I care is I need a bra on Patrick. And when I see this photo, I'm in love because Pat um is also need a lipstick and I lit and and the wig. So I don't care who it is. I just want little pieces. So I'm borrowing these little pieces and I'm putting them Patrick to make Patrick become a drag queen. Plain and sim simple. Just like that. Well, okay. We not say drag queen. We'll just say themselves. Now I'm going to color this too. So I don't want to put more character. I don't want to make it crowded. Too crowded. I might. I don't know. Actually. Oh, you're talking about these little snail. Okay, let's put it in. Okay, so where should this nail be? Um, I am thinking on top, probably on the bottom, probably right here on the bottom. Sandy the squirrel. Hey, I don't want to watch this no more, man. I didn't plan on this nail, but here we go. So. Yeah, we're not watching this. Wait, now. I don't want to. Um, okay, I'm just gonna draw draw over it. Maybe I've concluded this. You know thing. what? I'm going to do it on the other fingers. Yeah. I'm going to put the snail in. The snail is cute, too. There's so many creatures. I'm so confused. I, exactly. This is why we're not getting involved in it. I've now decided that they love it because it somehow kept their kids entertained. So that made them happy. And that's where their happiness comes from. But that's too many. Oh, oh, my God. You literally tell me that all of this is... Oh, that's more... Thing in it, Destiny. You don't even have any that many characters in a good show, in a real show, you know. Okay, this little guy, this bald headed guy, is going to be on here, and then the snail is going to be in the pinky. Okay, oh. so I'm gonna draw the snail first. Snail are easy. See that? One little sway. Okay. One little sway. One little sway. Mm, I have to eye level it. Where is eye gonna be? It's gonna look in at this drag queen right here. So it needs the eye need to be right here. Okay. 
So, one sway, which I mean a curve down and flow into a curve up. That is a sway. Coming down here. You're going to get a look. <laughs> now, right here, I want to do one. Okay, so it's going to be down here. I'm going to do the bottom first so it's easy for you to see. One curve. And, and honey, I would like to Two apologize curve. to you. Um, <clears throat> come to find out, Patrick did wear some fishnets and some high heels at a certain point during oh, the show. Oh. So you just seen the potential there in him before. I've you know, seen the yeah. potential on a lot of things. Like, boy, I know you want to wear some lipstick. You're getting it. That's it. Good eye, honey. Mm, that's why they call me Dr. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein. Now, here, I'm gonna parallel to this. So you just draw like a hot dog, basically. A hot dog? Mm hmm. And for this, I don't really need to be too detailed because later on I'm gonna cover all of it. So. Over here, you slant it down to the left and then slant it up and then down immediately. And then curve and slant down. So it's continuously slanting, uh, curving up, curving down, curving up, curving down, like a um, doily. No, no. Doily. What's that thing that they have on the uh, sleeve? Sleeve. Cuff. Tour. Toes. Toes. Yeah, like a toes. Toes. Just like the thing toe. that the clown wears, there's a lot of it in its little neck. Oh, the, uh, yes, yeah, a little French. French. Yes. Curve, <laughs> curve down, all the way, curve down. Then, so it's like a circle almost. Ruffles. Just like this. Ruffle, yeah. Ruffles. Okay, now one circle. Okay, two circle. So a circles, a circles. To break it down, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna go in slow motion. Um, I go straight. I go straight, and then the slant just a little bit. So to me, I imagine a plus, like a clock. Okay, so at 12 o'clock, I slant it down to 11 and 10. 11 and 10 is more slanted. 11 and 10, when I pass 9, I go straight. 9 to 8. Now 8 and 7, I slant this way. But when I get to about 6, which is in the middle, I go across. Okay, when I go across to about 6, when I pass 5 and 4, I slant it just in the direction. When I say slant, you're still curving, but you slowly slant it. When you pass 3 o'clock, you go straight up. Okay, so you iron the metals. Now, when you pass, now here, this is 1 and 2 o'clock, this is where you slant. Okay, so if you need help on the circle, you can draw the cross right away. For me, when I draw, I just imagine the cross with my imagination. So... To draw a good circle, you need to start off with two straight lines. A circle is is mathematically um, equal. Okay, if this is a cross, you're right. You're right. From here to here is equal to from here to here. From here to here, it have a center. So from here to here is equal to. From here to here is equal to. So from here to here equal 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 equal. equal equal and equal so if you there is only one path to do this so if there's something that are two out that's not a circle so when you draw if you pass into it and you don't slant immediately if you wait it too long then you're not going to end up with a circle see that from here if you don't curve immediately you have to know you have to imagine it like a clock because you have to lovely curve it 
every number you have to curve, curve, curve. It's always keep on moving and curving because if you delay at any point, it will be lopsided and it's not going to turn out a circle. No, that's a great way of So a circle needs you to move extraordinarily slow for it to be a circle because you have to measure. And then you do it visually in your head so that mm -hmm. we don't know what's going on. Oh, but when you, when you first start it, baby step is fun. Okay, so let me see here. This a line down but slightly uh, slanted. And another one right here. Down, pass through everything all the way down to the lips. It's a very, very, very great description. Good, good. Uh, live tomorrow? Tomorrow, no. Tomorrow, uh, up live and Monday live. Monday? Two more live. 11. Mon mm -hmm. Monday, two there live. Two more live. Wednesday, two live. Okay, let's just like this. Now, let's see. Good. Good. I just there and I just there at this creature. So... I'm going to draw the bar man. So this is a bar headed man. Now, this. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. You know what just came on? It says, I just came on here. Please tell me this is a uh, SpongeBob. It is, Nora. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Now, from here, this eye level, I want it to be right about here. And I want him to pop out the side. Okay. So, I'm drawing his forehead first. So, this is how I'm going to do him. I'm going to take gel. I'm going to draw his forehead first. Slightly curve. Do it three times. Slightly curve. Just like that. The middle one is way shorter. These two and these two are even. See that? Even. Shorter. Now, after the forehead, I continue with the eye. So, because I plan the forehead because it's just easier to start there. You can start anywhere. I pick up with the eye from here to here. The middle is right here. So, I curve. One curve. This one, I curve down. I stop. From here, from this eye, I curve it down so it can touch this part. Curve down all the way. You can stop right here. And then from here, I go straight down and I curve, okay? Then, after I have all this, easier when I do this first because I can measure the eye about right here. So this, I can mark it, okay? And uh, I leave a little room for the tip of the nose. So I mark here, I mark here, and I start right in the middle. One line in the middle, okay? And the way it's going out, from here to here, matching the eye is equal to from here to here. So I measure that I go out to here and then another one. So it's twice as long. Now, after I done that, it's easy breezy. From the eye level, I curve to the left, curve to the right, finish a little bit right here. And now when I go up, is is halfway of the eye. See the eye? Middle of the eyes. This come up here when it meet the middle of the eye. Stop. Now, from here to here is. Uh, let me see. Okay, so the distance of his forehead is equal to the distance of his whole face from here to here. Okay. It might be a little less, but that's fine. It's close. So from here. You do one stop curve, and when you get down here, you take care of business. You curve it right back, okay. so it can be like an oval, like a football, okay? And neck, neck, and done. Color, just minor little details. All right, let's get started. They love it when you paint on the phone because they get to hear how you plan out your strokes beforehand. Oh, oh good, good. You know, oh, that's very, very important. Good, here's another <laughs> phone. And the name of the character you're drawing is 
Squidward. Squidward. Yes. Ooh. And this has made me come to realize that what's happened here is the kids. We now we gotta watch it again. We just won't try to get to know anyone. Just get the general census. But what's happened is they somehow got these kids addicted to it, and these individual characters became probably plush toys and and, and little figures. That the kids had to, mom, get this, get this, oh, get that, get that. By the way, the length of the nose is almost equal to the eye, except it's a little longer. That's why they all know the names of the characters, because they had to hunt down the figure at Christmas time in a store while battling other moms. I am going to erase these eyes, because when I do these eyes, it's not far out enough. You see, these eyes right here is almost matched with this. The eye that I did is like, like this. I need a little more curve. I can just see the mothers now in the parking lot doing last minute Christmas dealings. I'll give you a SpongeBob and a Squidward for a. Let me put it over on this side so I can see it easier. Cause people don't need to see it, they know what it looks like. Okay, now, let's see. Leave a little space for the nose. Eye level, halfway from here. This is where it meets the eye, so double that distance. Double it? Yes. Now, from here, meet an eye level, start to about right here. Parallel to this, curve down. Curve down, and then keep it parallel. Now, from here, meet in the middle of the eye. Going down. Now the face from here to here is equal to from here to here. So this forehead. And the the outer edge of the head is equal to the mouth. Is equal to that, and then in the middle, a shorter curve, and then neck, collar, shoulder. Get it? Time for us, uh, us to apply SpongeBob. Are you fairy gel still? Just to fill in. <clears throat> That's why I'm not too familiar with it. It came out in 1999. That's, that was one of the years I was really busy. Can you get a bit more paper now? Okay, I'm still gonna use fairy gel. Fill in all the SpongeBob. I'm gonna put it out in the palette first. What type of gel paint or polish are you using for the black outline? Outline, are you art gel? Well controlled. Don't run anywhere. Now are you fairy gel? Bright and fluid. 
go ahead and feel the whole SpongeBob. And I probably would need to see SpongeBob himself to try him. Would you do a character on the thumb? Mm. No. But you can. On the thumb, I'm going to do bubble, scene bubble effect. Is the technique for today. It's just like painting. But today I will teach how you have to do bubbles using bubble effect and white ink. And then... Uh, I, in the time I would do bubble effect and white ink. Well, while you've been doing the idea of this, how to create art, I figured out a way to do this. Actually, if you can't draw, yeah, all you gotta do is get a clear stiletto nail. Shrink down your picture, hold your clear nail over the drawing, trace it. Yeah. Like a good, you know, check writer. Mm. Be a cheater. Well, you know. Yeah. No, carbon copy. I wouldn't oh. say cheater. Jeez. Powder pink. I'm using salmon. Just simply turn her hand upside down and paint on the under underside <laughs> when you need to. It's like a reverse painting. Shadows. Just a little bit of shadow. Shallow is a jet black polish. You can even use it for art because it's so opaque. It's very, very opaque. A little white. So let me make the shadow first. Then a little white on it. Almost out of this. Build it in. When I approach an area, I always to put a lot of gel in the meadows. Because when I go out on the edge like this, I need my brush to be nice and thin. And I don't want to pick up any more gel, so I have the gel in the middle where I can just use it. See, like right here, I'm going to slap some gel in the middle. Can I see that? Because in the metal, you can go faster without worrying about uh, bumping into an edge or whatever. And then after that, on your brush, you cleanse it like that. So it's, it still have gel, but not a lot. 
So when you say cleanse it, you really just wipe, wipe it, it off. Mm -hmm. So it's less volume. So now it's sharper. You go in and you take care of the detail. Now you don't need to pick up any more gel because anytime you pick up more gel, it'll be thicker. The brush will be thicker. So now you're just using the gel that you already have in the middle and you use it to take care of your edges. Of your details. Mm -hmm. And then you used your palette instead of a paper towel or anything to make sure you didn't pick up any particles or lint. Yeah, I, I don't use paper towel uh, on this one. I mean, I do, but uh, rarely. Not when it comes to the fine detail. Fine right detail. There. Just like this. This is so cool. See that? Now, you, your brush can be very thin. <coughs> when it's thin, it's very easy to do things like this. The edges, where everybody afraid of, because people are afraid of, because when they pick up a gel like this, how can you do the edge with this? There's so much gel. So you just paint it, whatever it is, and not on the edge. Hmm. You can go crazy because you're not touching the edge, right? So you can go crazy. Now, you go ahead and stroke a few strokes on the palette and go in with a thin, nice, shapely brush and go ahead and do your edge it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to be as quiet as possible when I'm getting ready to be noisy. Okay. But starvation has hit. Oh. I'm using the same concept to fill out these entire things. Let that. Some pink right here. Just like this. Take care of the edge. Now, here. So, for Spongebob, we need to make these colors because that's his colors. So, the yellow we already have, I'm taking shadows, okay, apply a little bit of shadow on the yellow, mix it together. Now, this right here is deep shadow. I'm going to use the rest of the yellow to make a lighter one. Okay. So, and I am going to make another one right in the middle. This one is the medium. Okay, so... Let's name the deepest number one, the medium number two, and the lightest number three. So on this side, I am gonna use number two to color in the whole back side of it. Fill out everything in the middle. Now going back with the edge. Okay, just like this. Now, with number, with um, number two, you come over here and you make little hole over here. But just half of it, not the whole thing. Mm. This one's too short of the space. 
let's do another one right about here. And this is a shadow of the nose. Kia. Thank you, thank you, Arlette. Oh, thank you, Miss Nails. Okay, now the pink. So, I am gonna use lime green to fill in the colors. I have this green right here, I don't have lime green. So, it's almost these colors, but I want it to be bright. Um, let me see. Yellow and green together. Just a little bit of green. Slowly mix more green into it until you satisfy. You see that? That's the color I want. Not this one. This one is for shadow and SpongeBob. Similar, but mm, it's different. It's not the same. It's bright. Remember that color differences. Now, I'm going in for green. I feel all in the middle first. And then go over with the edge. When there is less gel on your brush. And when you're at the edge, only use the tip of your brush. In the meadows. the edge to trace over the edge here yeah. now with this you're using uh, number three the shade of number three and you go in complete the circles here okay now over here go in and you make Little circle with a darker shade of yellow, mix it with shadows. Number one, making a little, little circle. And it don't have to be a perfect circle, it can be like an oval. Care this. Now, when I care, why I'm caring, I will go ahead and take white, which is pigment base that I use. With these colors, I am gonna put a little white right here and then mix it in with this. Now, I am going to do highlight for spongebob right so for highlight i don't want an opaque gel for highlight highlight i use milk to kind of soften it up a little bit so i'm mixing that color in here now it's softened up it's not too harsh so, so i can blend just a little bit I don't need a lot of blending, but I need a little, little bit of blending. 
all the way in. I'm gonna take that mixture and I'm gonna trace around, around the circles. Blend it out just a tiny bit. Just like that. All around the circle. Just like this. Kia. Now, do the same thing on this side too. It don't have to be all around. You can just have a little highlight next to it. Just tiny little highlight right here. Here. Now I am gonna use white. I'm choosing pigment base color in the eyes. And then slowly work it out toward the edge. Can care of this edge too. Just like this. And this doing the same thing here. Work it slowly toward the edge. The lot gel in the middles. Spread it out. When it comes toward the edge, just use the tip of the brush very gently. Here, uh, the let's do the bottom too. Bottom right here, fill in with the white. Just like this. Oops, slowly work into what the edge. And then the other side, same thing. And go ahead and cover the color too, because the color is the same color as white. Just like this on the edge. Same thing over here. Here. The no, uh, the mouth, there is a deep, deep red, like a burgundy. So I'm taking my red right here. Putting some red gel out. And then, are you indigo? This indigo. And I mix that with red, just a little bit first, just to see. You can always add more. Perfect. Now, I am also going to get some um, white pigment base over here and make lighter part of it. So now, in the mouth, I am going to draw the whole thing in these colors, lighter colors. 
and then go in with a deeper part. Okay, so this everything is that light colors. The one in the meadows. Make sure you don't put too much water, mix too, in too much white. Fill in the middle before I'm reaching for the edge. Just like this, here. And then for the tongues, the, um, I am gonna start with the light color first, the lightest colors. So with this color right here, this pink mixed with shadow, I'm just going to add tiny little white in it. Just for it to get to about right here, stop. Now, let's see the SpongeBob. Zoom in. Oh, that's awesome, Karen. Okay, now. Scene. The darkest color, what is a red mix with indigo? I am fading it out from the corner of the mouth. To about right here. Actually, just I use it just because I mix the color already. But uh, if you use stained glass gels, better. Same thing, number eight mixed with number 14. It'll be same thing, but more translucent. Kill this. And now I need to make brown for the pants, this color right here. So you take our orange art gel. Put it right here. And then take out uh, shadow or black art gel, doesn't matter. Put some right here. And definitely need to take out yellow for this. So have some yellow art gels. So I mix the orange with the black first. And then you add in a little yellow. Just a tiny bit. Good. Okay, now. color in the pants. So with this brown art gel that I just mix, I'm gonna fill in the pants. If you say with art gel around this area, because I know that it will not blend in at all. It will not run over at all. So that when I get to somewhere like that, if you say with a gel that I have control, with a gel that are liquidy, then you just have to apply it thin so it don't over flood. I'm putting some uh, brown art gel down to the leg of the pan too. like this and then some pigment base right here Q. 
here. Oh, thank you, thank you, uh, gifted hand, thank you. Okay, now I am taking the lightest of this color that I mixed before. This is uh, salmon fairy gel mixed with a little black, little white. Turn out like this. So I'm drawing the tongues. with that light pink. Red art gel. I'm drawing the tie with red art gel. Now, here for now. And then I need um, the little tooth right here. I'm gonna use art gel. This is white pigment base, so I'm gonna apply it right here. It's fluid, but the tea, I don't wanna use uh, anything that are fluid for the tea. I need something more controlled, so that I'm gonna use art gel for the tea, so it can be nicely shaped doesn't uh, wobbly and runny. So why art gels? Here, take it out and draw in the T. One line down, another line down, another line here, another line here. Mm, probably help if I use the seven millimeter, but I didn't. It's okay. I have a little hair right here that get in my way. A lot of obstacle for this little tea. With a feel of brush, straighten it up. get my seven millimeters. I was lazy to get it. If I get it, I could have finished the business by now. Bad name, you miss me a little bit? No, I was just lazy to uh, no, no, to no, get no. it. <laughs> of course I miss you. And kill this. <laughs> Some white pigment base in the eyes for the starfish. Also, same right here. Fun to watch uh, multiple characters at once, huh? Good. Good. Happen it all once? Yeah. I think we're the only ones that do art ones. Because most live only do one character for each live. With that, with this, you can see the switch back and forth. Yes. You can, that's you can see the, crucial later on the switching is very crucial. You can see the switching. Because, of course, when you do now, uh, when you do, uh, like, for your client, you don't do one finger at a time. Like the background, you don't do one background, you draw your character, and then you do another background. Mm -mm. You do it all the same. I mean, and the color on your palette, you have to keep it because, see, now I don't need to mix it. I already there. I already have it. It's important to have more than one palette. Okay, now, here this.
I am gonna take um, red, red art gel, and I am gonna draw two little heart in the SpongeBob eyes. this here I am gonna take the lightest pale pink and fill in the tongues here here I'm using stained glass gel this is stained glass gel number 12 brown And I am gonna take a brush and dip in stained glass gels. Warm, hot, lemon, ginger, tea. Painted it right here. Just a thin layers of stained glass gel on this side. And then some stained glass gel down here too. And some stained glass gel over here too. You see how much mixing it takes to do a cartoon that are animated would mean have shadow and everything. If you see the mixing that it takes, now you know why I have stained glass gel. I'm not gonna mix, I'm not gonna stand there and mix stained glass gel for shadows. There's just no way. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use purple for the flowers. There is a flower right here. I'm gonna use purple for flower. So I'm using this color's art gel purple. Uh, we have to use art gel now because we need to cover the green. If we use anything else or fluid, what happened is the purple will be way too weak and it's not gonna be able to show off the uh show off the purple. The green gonna take over on the background. So with this I wanna mix it to a, a point. Oh I, I mix it with um pigment base. I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to mix it with art gels to make sure it's in sure coverage. Okay, and of course, it doesn't match the color yet. See, this color doesn't match, but no worry. Keep adding purple in. And then now, I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, indigo, just a tiny bit. Or you can add some blue if you want. You can add this blue. Okay, now I am going to paint on for it. Okay. So, I'm starting right here. I have a little curve, okay. And I go in, like a triangle, go in. So here, start having another curve right here. You go in like a triangle. And here, having a little curve right here and go in like a triangle. 
like a triangle with curves. Now here, you start curving the inside of the flower. Okay, so that is his pattern right here. Do the same to this side. Curve, go in like a triangle. Okay, so now um, I need to feel yellow for the hair. I'm just going to use fairy gel. See, like just fairy gel coverage too. And there's nothing underneath it, so I'm going to use fairy gels. Be careful when I go in here because this fairy gel is not controlled like art gel. What I should have done is you art gel yellow, but it's fine, it's fine too. Cure this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How come? Well, let me tell you, remember earlier when I let their bowl get empty? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, now what I've done is I've filled it up for them, and they were so content that I separated them and forgot to put their bowl where they were. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to use art gels. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take black art gel out. I'm going to start a new palette. I'm still keeping my old one. But uh, in case you want to add or... I want to mix... Over there. I want to mix the color of the tongues. This color right here. So I have some black. And then I am going to get some coral color number five. Number five is coral. I will put it on right here. And then I'm going to mix this together. Be careful, only mix a little, little tiny amount of black at a time just to make sure you gauge it well. Stop about right here. Now it's okay if it looks a little deeper than in the picture because it's stained glass gel, remember? It is, it will lighten up whenever you apply. Same with milk colors. There you go, the tongues. Now, we also gonna shadow the eye and everything too because we we, we don't do simple um we do um uh, animating stuff so we have to have shadow for everything sin is a uh, it's not we don't uh it's sin is like a um custom design more advanced um however you can choose to not add shadow if you don't want to. I just want to go to over everything that you able to do. Um, I am gonna take some red art gels and fill in the lips. Just like this. Okay. No key. So with this, I'm gonna mix a periwinkle color. That's very easy. I am gonna start with number 13, deep blue. Oh no, that's not number. Uh, number eight, deep blue. Okay, now to make it periwinkles, I need to add a little pink in there and I'm good. Number four. Okay, 
to make it not too blue. And then I'm gonna add some milk. Make it fries. Okay, now going in. Actually, you can mix it with number A. Uh, don't mix too much pink in it. Add in some shadow underneath here. And then I'm gonna add some shadow on the side, the shirt. And some shadow right underneath here. Okay, here. And then we're gonna top coat that one. This one is still gonna have some eye on it. Okay, so that can be taken care of with a uh, detail liners later on. So I'm I am gonna fill in a little purple on top of the hair, and that's it. Ready to top coat, so we can details. Uh, if you want, you can take a little emerald stained, uh, little emerald stained glass gel, number ten, and that's why I have all my stained glass with me in a foam holder. There's no way that I will put on the shelf and have to go pick it up. That's why it's a kit because when it comes to painting like this, you need every colors. That's why it's a stained glass gel kit. I put it in a foam holder so I don't have to, I don't go to the shelf and pick up polish. I have a whole stained glass gel collection of whatever color that I, uh, of whatever color I like can choose from that. Okay, now, this little stained glass gel that we did for the, uh, for the tongues of SpongeBob, we're gonna do it on the body of Patrick. So with math, you're gonna go ahead and top coat everything with math. Just a thin layer though, don't need much. You should need to put some top coat on it to make it um, even and smooth on top. Just like this. Here. Actually, a little bit right here. Now, with this stained glass gel, which is coral mixed with uh, black stained glass gel, is number 11. You can add a little shadow underneath, it's brown. The shadow underneath the leg. See how it just makes everything look expensive. The shadow right here. See everything that have shadow look expensive. Look realistic. Or have depth in it. Have dimension in it. Okay, now here. Okay, now we're gonna detail this SpongeBob. So when we detail, we have to use a fine seven millimeters.
Let's see how they detail SpongeBob. Because I know they don't use black. All the detail will be focusing on the eyes, mouth, and the pen. Leave this alone only on the hand. Leave the whole sponge alone. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in. Try not to be out of line. Now. With art gel, I'm going to use art gel to details. So black art gels. I'm going to do the arm first in it's the highest. Let me drink some water. Okay. Now, tracing this. just like to do this because it's more fun, more detail. Of course, you can choose to skip the detail, but then it's gonna look less. So I always want it to look more than less. Okay, and now the eyes. Out on the eye and then eyelashes one two three same thing here out on the eye eyelash one two three just use the tip of the brush nothing else not a lot of pressure from here, passing the eye a little bit, going in, tracing the nose. Just like this. And now the mouth, same things. One line down here. Going to outline the tongues. Maybe not the tongue, so maybe that's too tiny. T just a little bit. This, this is a time when you can straighten up your T. Now the colors. One slanted down and up like a V and up like a V. I don't trace this line. Remember, you leave the sponge alone. Train the tie. Just touch the tip of my brush, nothing else. No pressure. Trace all the way here. Seven millimeter is extremely helpful with detail like this. Straight down. This when you ask Becky to turn the hand over. Just when you add, get into awkward position. Tracing the legs. And this is a socks, I assume. Now, on here. You go one, two, three, four. Out on the left two, down, slanted, curve. Again, slanted. Line for the socks and 
for a little milk for the shoe. Use milk top coat. Milk mm -hmm. Let me check out the shoe again. It's pretty, uh, pretty light. Pretty light. So I'm going to use pigment base first. Pigment base. I'm going to put in a dot for the shoe. Here. While I'm carrying, I pick up a little bit of uh, milk top coat, and you don't need to key all the way because milk top coat is see through. It could clear the wire while it's killing itself. Here. So that's a detail for SpongeBob. Now let's get this guy out. Ready for detail too. So. I put my top coat on this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggles all the way, and then stroke from top to bottom. Just like this. A little bit in the mouth. Take that out. Okay, now here. Yes, nail by Don, a week away, go girls. <laughs> Just remember, it's add strength to it. And later on, we're going to finish top coat in this, and that will be the last top coat we do. The reason why I don't finish this top coat yet, because I might add something up, down, up here before, uh, before I'm done. So I'm not going to finish top coat it yet. I'm going to leave it like this for now, because I know that I probably regret it if I finish it now, and then I want to add something later on. <laughs> so again... Let me see how Patrick is uh, outlined. Okay, the pen is black outline. The body is salmon. Okay, salmon. And then the green is outlined by uh, periwinkle blue. All right. So, body first. I'm going to take out a salmon color. So let's see, let's see. Pink art gel, take it out. And then orange art gel mix in with pink art gel. Maybe that's too much orange. We'll see when we put a black art gel on. Not too much, actually. That's a little, that's a lot of black. That is a lot of black. No worry. I was thinking that it don't have enough pink, so now it's my chance to put pink in. More pink in. There you go. So now, we take out these creatures, and then Dustin is um doing something, I don't know, cleaning, eating, he's eating. Okay, now I am outlining this in this color that I just discovered. Okay, now, right here. So the face, I try to uh, cover as much of the face, detail as much of the face with uh, these shrimp colors. I call it shrimp colors. Yeah. I feel horrible. Honey. Why? I thought I right in. I actually went in there to get the cats their food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Mm, the top of the pants, I don't know if it have, uh, yes, it have black too. So top of the pen have black, black in the eyes, everything is in the eye. Okay, now this, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, uh, in the legs. See so many details.
Remember, when you do character, you chart for each character. You don't chart for the whole set. Okay. Tino, what is the difference between art gel and fairy gel? Fairy gel is way, way thinner than art gel. I use a lot for first layer of filling. Uh, fairy gel glow in the dark. Uh, glow in the dark fairy gels. And uh, fairy gel is wrinkle free. Uh, art gel can be wrinkled if you leave it flash clear for too long. And then, um, oh yeah, the, the common uh, disappear. No, uh, I still seen it. If the common, common disappear, you just sun in and sun, sun out and sun back in. Um, what am I say again? Uh, oh, art gel and fairy gel. So fairy gel is much thinner. It's a like powder gel. You can ombre it really, really good. Like the background, I use all fairy gels. Art gel is more controlled. It's not fluid like fairy gels. Uh, when you do a line, especially when you don't ruin, want to ruin shape or detail, you use uh, art gel. Vertical ombre is all about art gel. If you want to stroke it really thin and show the color. Fairy gel, uh, I never use it extra, extra thin unless I ombre it out. Fairy gels, I always... Um, I'm about to say, I don't do it really thin. Oh, I always paint it in a considered um, amount of volume with fairy gel. Not thick, but, you know, paint it not thin, not paper thin. Okay, so the mouth, I am going to use black to go ahead and outline it. Black outline all over Patrick. Um, I don't know where I was going. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna stop right here before I fix this mistake. I wanna tell you the reason why it's like this because I come here, I, I, I don't slow down. So I was out of line. Just another lesson for you on your speed when you curve. If you don't slow down, then you will curve out of line. Okay, now I am going to draw eyeballs. And then maybe eyelashes. Did you get excited again and start painting fast, honey? No. Yeah. Tina, will you show us these glowing in the dark? Will you show uh, you what? Them glowing in the dark. Oh, I have to charge it and then turn the light up. Um, oh, no, one of my video, I have it. Uh, the lava lamp videos on Votinos. Okay. Oh, I need the mouth too. The mouth. Uh, on Votino, on the lava lamp, um, I have the part where I film it in the dark. I have to turn off the light. In order to do that, I use a lot of light. This room is full of light. You have to go down the basement. Okay, now I'm going to do one line right here. Mount. One line right here for the mount too. Just like this. Okay. Now, another slip right here. Right here. Okay. Good. 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 Yay. Okay. Now, lip two. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Just give me that cheeto. Cheeto vibe. <clears throat> well, look at those boxers. Those look like the the 
Kiss. Yeah. What was the name of that? Scooby Doo's band? Mm hmm. Green machine, green machine? Uh huh. Looks like a fire paint on the side of it. Okay, now orange. I need orange. Orange art gels. Get out. And I will use orange for the hair. So much color to calculate. But it's popping though. Thank you. Uh, so orange, I am outlining this with orange. <laughs> Mystery machine, thank you. La, 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 la. They don't have to find it. I can find the video that glow in the dark. Sorry, my mind is all over the place. I have different train of thought going in and out. So I'm not necessarily just talking in one little subject. Okay, now, um, finish this. We need periwinkle for the outfit. La, la, la. Oh, let me show you the fairy gel. Why waiting for it to kill? Man, this video got hit, you guy. This video hit a lot. To do the whole thing again. And at the end, I captured in pitch black. It's so difficult to capture in pitch black because it has to be a total darkness. I have to have a little light for my camera to be able to capture it. And it is able to glow under um, low daylight too, but only for about 30 seconds when it's uh, fully charged, then it's glow in total darkness. Now watch this. This is low daylight, it's not in pitch black. Okay, so this is low daylight, see the daylight behind me. So this is low daylight, now, um, after it's come out of UV light, or uh, when it's out in the sun, it will absorb the sunlight and it will glow like this in low daylight for about, um, if you do ultraviolet light, and in about 30 seconds, the people that are taking video and making video, they have to capture this process about 30 seconds to one minute after it's come out of the UV light. And then after the intense glow, then it will glow in total darkness. But uh, you need total darkness or you need pretty dark, you know. When you, you go into a place that are pretty dark, like a, um, like a room, Club. yeah, yeah, like really dark place, then you can see it, but you should not capture, try to capture a video, you should not capture in total darkness because your camera is not going to be able to pick it up. So you have to capture it after it's go out, out on the ultraviolet light. Uh, let me see, periwinkles. So with that, I'm just using indigo. Oh, thank you, honey. Why don't you take a sip of this lemon tea for you? It's cold, honey. You, is this really good, Dustin? Lemon ginger? Tea. Yep. Lemon ginger. Yes. Okay, now. i going to take... <laughs> This indigo, I know that it's not periwinkles, but I'm not in the mood to make periwinkles. Okay, fine. Maybe a little bit. So you're a little in the mood. Just a little bit, not much. With some white. Just a tiny bit though, not much, just to make it not too dark. Oh, that's a, that's a little lot. We see about that when we learn, learning that. This from thinking and not pay attention to what you're doing will cost you that. So, when it comes to color calculating, especially character painting, <coughs> then you, you polished glow polish, mm -hmm. glow in the dark polish. Sorry, Joe. Um, where is oh, okay. some uh, gel paint is dry? 
Yeah, I use a uh, fairy gel. And later on, I will sell also glow powder. Glow powder is something that a raw, you can mix it in acrylic. You can mix it in glitter. You can also mix it in gel too, just so you can control the amount of glow it has. Okay, now let's see. I have some blue here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply lining on the outside. That pigment powder, you're talking about that stuff that glows and the glow. Yeah, glow powder. Whenever I shut the lights out. Yeah. But some companies have good glow powders, some companies have bad glow powders. I don't know yet. So. Oh, I just have too much thing at once. So I just have to take care of priority first and then come back to it. Still waiting for my color, new color pigment to arrive. Are you excited about that? I am. I finally can do a black ombre without uh, using gel technique. Black after all is a very hot color to ombre, even with gel ombre. So black pigment will absolutely perfect. Uh, black pigment will also make sheer, smooth sheer black background too. I'm excited. Okay, now, cure this. So, SpongeBob, now we have the other nails. Good Lord, four character. You guys. <laughs> oh, this is like Beauty and the Beast, you guys. This level, it's just like Beauty and the Beast because we do have to shadow it. We not do one color. So, this is a Beauty and the Beast level right here. This blue guy right here, I'm going to start with the lightest colors, which is puke blue. So, uh -huh. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some blue right here. Okay. Put a little blue on top up here. Now the sky blue to make puke blue. I'm just kidding. It's aquatic blue. So, um. Actually, I have some turquoise. I keep forgetting about the turquoise. So you can make puke puke. Poor turquoise doesn't have much attention. Actually, you know what? I'm going to mix fairy gel because I'd rather start out with fairy gel. Fairy gel green and blue. I'm just going to mix a tiny bit of green in it. Mm -hmm. Green. Just a tiny bit of green into the blue. And then pigment base into that aquatic blue. Now remember, if you were too much green, you have to know that you don't want to make a green color. You want you still working with that blue. You just you just make that blue um you just change the tone of that blue so that blue become an like an aquatic blue. But you don't want to change it into a green. See that blue? See that? The lightest part. Okay. Wow. Fill in with that. And I pray that the snail is the same colors, but I think not. Uh, apply all over. Just avoid the edge if you like. See fairy gel on this because it's when I first fill in the first layer it's a lot. So for me I find it quicker using fairy gel because fairy gel you can really wiggle it any direction is liquid. So it gonna it gonna blend out nicely. Art gel you have to stroke it. You have to stroke it with a certain brush. Because art gel apply just like you apply a uh, polish from top to bottom. Boy, these colors are just popping. Thank you. <clears throat> ok 
Okay. Fill the ends all the way. Now, blue in the neck too, just like this. Here. Let's see. Oh, it's the same color. Thanks, good Lord. <laughs> Thanks, Lord, it's the same colors. Start from here. I'm gonna do the pink first, though. I'm gonna do the pink shell first. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the eye first. Mm Be careful around this part because don't forget this fairy gel is it don't control well like art gel so you you have to have a thin amount to do this. Now it's gonna be all outlined. <clears throat> Boy, I just love the colors. Mm-hmm. Isn't that cool and it's fun? Dumb, yeah. I can do that more often. I can do um bright color more often. That one of the signature from one of my favorite artists is Nell by Deb. Nell by Deb do use a lot of pure bright colors. I like it too. However, I'm I'm not just doing all everything bright. I have mood. I have mood when I'm in a tonal mood or um a chromy mood or a glittery mood. So I'm not always work with bright neon color. However, it makes me very happy. Mm -hmm. Make me very, very happy when I use, <coughs> when I use it. Uh, I'm going to use pigment base to fill in the eye. Some pigment base like this. Now, I'm applying some eye pigment base all over this. White here, white here. Just like this. Now here. For the snail, uh, I already have as you can see, it's pink, pink. Just the same at the tongues. Very close. So I already have that color skin mix. Thanks goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. with this color right here. See that? I already mix it. Mm. I'm gonna mix more of it though. I don't have enough light pink. Fill it in. <clears throat> I remember like nine years ago when you just playing with a lot of acrylic paints mm -hmm. before they had all these other toys to play with. Oh yeah, acrylic paint is when you get done with your palette, you'd have that big old pile of all yeah. these different colors and it harden up mm -hmm. because of the air dry. Oh that's I remember that. I remember for a minute I was collecting them. I was like, these are yes. cool. We can do something with them. Yes, I remember that too. Wow. 
what I should have done is do the pink first. So when I do the blue, I can just go across, go through the pink. But this is fun too. That's just your brain thinking of a couple ways you could save time a little save bit. Save a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Okay, now pigment base. Why pigment base in the mouth? Amy said, there's so many neon sets this late winter, early spring. I wouldn't be surprised if it's big, big this spring and summer. Yeah. yeah. Neon, neon always big in the summer. I love, I love use neon color in the summer. Okay, now, uh, this one right here, this is bright yellow mixed with black and then mix, brighten up with white. I'm going to use that for my snails. Your snail. Mm -hmm. Similar color. Yellow becoming olive when you mix with black. Assuming that that is a bright yellow instead of a daisy yellow. Mix with black becoming olive. Then mix with white again. It become like a sage. Hear this. <laughs> This I have brown from SpongeBob. I'm gonna use that. And I am gonna color in everything. Okay, now here and then shadow. Do you notice that this is the same level with the Beauty and the Beast Destiny? Mm -hmm. Because of the uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, and this, except for uh, this one, we have intricate background. Building the beach doesn't have an intricate background. Building the beach just have a lot of details, <coughs> but this have a beautiful background. And the shadow and work is also the same rank as building the beach. Mm. Pigment base. particularly love how this morning's train of thought went down. Yeah. Because here's what you did. You woke up. You didn't have any ideas. So you thought of colors. Uh -huh. Those colors somehow led you to Powerpuff Girls. Uh -huh. So that you did the Powerpuff Girls. Then, when you're about done, you had decided in your mind, you thought a different color would have looked better for the Powerpuff Girls. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you step back and then you went ahead and redesigned it with different colors. So right. what you actually did was you picked colors to motivate you to a theme. Then you didn't like the colors of the theme and you went back to a different. <laughs> you see what you did? Yeah. Number seven. That's light blue. And then uh, I'm going to add a little bit of number one, which is highlight yellow. Little highlight yellow in there. Highlight yellow. Uh -huh. Bright. Brightest right. of them all. It's too it's so bright that you don't even know if it's yellow or the green. Mix it like in. The witch in the mirror. The brightest of them uh, all. I have too much yellow. Become like a green. So I'm gonna add more blue into it. Okay, now for this little guy right here. See all this? Oh, this have a little black mix in it too. However, uh, so I'm gonna shadow all this. Okay, it's have a little black mix in it too. So, how much do you think you charge per character? Per character, um, uh, I say about uh, 40, 50. 40, about fifty. Kill it. 11. No, well, I, I actually compared it in the standard basic. Mine would be more expensive because mine look 
really good. Man have details. That's a uh, one level up, and have shadow one level up, and it have custom background one level up. But so man will be probably a hundred. That's celebrity status, hundred per character. Um, so for one hand it will be about four five hundred. But that for celebrity status, uh, for normal people probably can come up to fifty. That's still pretty damn good. About five hundred dollars set. If if you get to this level, um, if it any uglier, then it's just less money. Because really, you could have stopped a long time. I've got ago to stop a long time ago. Just to mm-hmm. capture the exact mm-hmm. what they had. So if it's uglier, then it's less. So don't try to make it too ugly. Huh? What if they can only afford ugly? Then good. Then no pressure. <laughs> now. I am going to shadow this, so I'm going to see the picture of where to shadow. And right here. Not yet. And right here. Shadow over here. Shadow over here. Shadow here. Shadow on the forehead. Line. Line. Okay. Shadow over here. See how expensive it just become. It look it become realistic. Okay, here. Actually, complete underneath the eye. Okay, now keep. Same with the snails. Good night, ancient snail tag. Good night, ancient snail tags. Shadow. Yeah. Now this pink that I mix with stained glass gel, I'm gonna use it for the snail. Uh, this uh, number five, which is not pink, sorry, coral. Actually, it is pink. I'm confused it with the other colors. Um, so basically, take um, <coughs> pink is number four. Actually, yeah, I did mix pink and coral because it's not pure pink. It's warm pink. See this now? There is not a bubblegum pink. There is a warm salmon pink. So, pink. And then I have stained glass gel, which is number 11, black stained glass gel. So, this is going to be go on my snail. Salmon not bubblegum. Right. See my snail? I'm going to add shadow in this the eye a little sloppy I have to go back and cleanse it if I even remembers <laughs> Curious what you would do for the thumb. For the thumb, um, I'm gonna do some bubbles. Bubbles. Mm-hmm. Cute bubbles. Go back and clean the eye. Hear this. Him ready to details. So matte top coat and then we're gonna detail him. Details. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm gonna put some matte top coat on here. Watches. I've configured and they have to start at the beginning. Oh lord. I know. Okay, let's see if this guy's ready. No, it's not ready yet. It's hot shadow in the eyes. Which is lamb green. I'm gonna use fill a brush for this. Paint it with little lamb colors. Here. And then you a darker lamb colors. Yellow mix it with black. You can use it in the form of stained glass gel too. Highlight yellow mix with black become these colors. Here and it's ready for details. Let's detail this guy. And he is, oh, easy, all black. Easy. <laughs> oh, I forgot his actual eye, which have shadow too. I have to take care of that later. Actually, let's take care of it now. This colors is pink. Mix with orange, make with black. You said this is the best live by far. Really? Better than my Beauty and the Beast live? Get this. Actually, a little further. Okay, now get this. Matte top coat this. Wickle, wickle, wickles. Wickles, wickles. Just like this. Don't need to be much, just needs a little bit to make it all nice and even. There's a splat of pink right here, but that's fine. Cute this. Okay, now let's detail this guy with black art gels. I'll show you black art gels. This is what I'm using. To shadow? To uh no to details. To details. Shadow is always stained glass. You don't want anything opaque. Or well can draw you on fluid, liquidy. Mm, I'm not sure if I pick up art gel or some random gel. I really <laughs> I just show the bottle, but I just choose some random gel like on here. On my, it's mixed it's with top assumed. coat. <laughs> it's probably because you're hungry, honey. You may not realize it, but I can hear it in your voice. Poor Tino hasn't eaten anything all day long. Okay, let's see. In the line right here. And then circle the eyes. Is this an octopus? Is he an octopus? He looked like an octopus. No. What is he? 
Squidward. A Squidward. Squidward, I think is what they said his name was. Or Squidworth. But, as you say, the puke blue character. The puke blue characters. Not cute, puke. Puke. Puke blue characters. Carla. I'm just really squiggle. Nobody look, gonna look at this detail. Look at this. Look at this. Squid. You don't look like a squid. Okay, now. It looked like an octopus to me. At a minimum. Holy hell. It's a snail that's so much with the eyes. <coughs> Why my top coat's too early? It looks like an alien didn't come out right. My top coat is snail too early. That's some more detail with the eye. It's okay. I can take care of the seven layers. You see any big and paint that are not in control that are large or shadow you want to take care of it in the first layers because then the second layer when you detail you want to detail over it so it's nice and smooth and flawless is that perfect view right plus those first layer you're gonna have two Two layer top coat, which is great for it. like this. I want the detail in. Now tracing the T. <laughs> Sam over here. Cute little character. Mm -hmm, it is. I'm starting to like Spongebob. Well, from the side conversation going on, it seems like it's pretty interesting. I know the song goes, Spongebob clapping, Spongebob. You know, I should stop. <laughs> now, over this side. Just like this. All around. Just like this. Now lining the underneath side too. Just like this. Here. You know, while we've been sitting here, I got to thanking. Everyone's always saying, Kim, you should get a show, you should get a show. It is a show. Well, I know that. <coughs> they don't take into consideration having <coughs> camera crews and, and, and writers. <coughs> Somehow it just would, A, invade and interfere in it lead to corruption. our way of life. And then B, it wouldn't be natural by any means. You know, that'd be someone scripting things. And you guys don't want to see me become corporate. You don't, don't want to see me become... Um, what is it? Not personal. I don't right, see right. that. Because right now our level is is okay. Even though I am directly connected, um, I reach out directly to my audience, and my audience can DM me and all that. But our company right now is at a um, just like a level of a big company because Cindy is behind it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Well, it's well established and 
because in most case you guys not gonna be even to reach out to the creator of a big company. Uh-uh. So I'm gonna be too busy with right. all those other dynamics. That's why I decide to split. I decide to uh let Cindy take care of it so I can reach out personally. Okay now. Make orange. So orange I will use uh, actually, yeah, I will use 10 class gels. Numbers 3, that's orange. Deepened it with um, 10 class gel, brown number 12. Deepen it up. Deepen it up. Yeah. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you you know, design is a very pure process. It is. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to know about the shipping and take care of the shipping because when money is involved, it will tempt it, a design process. When an artist are in news and um, when an artist is feel absolute inspires, it's come from a pretty um, spiritual place. Golden place is what I was thinking. Golden place. Mm -hmm. You don't want to tempt it. With In a place of love, really. Cheesy material. This thing. You know what I mean? You don't want to tempt it. With it. So a show to me is all about that. Right. Because even, even if you start out, out without that angle, everyone else involved has that angle and they're mm -hmm. it to you. It's called being distracted. Well, here we just click it on and go you but, see all the all the big company they they have to hire ambassadors they have to hunt somebody that can do content for them because right now they are dry up content when a, a peer process like creativity and imagination which is our gift it comes from a spiritual holy place in in our, in our body you know what i mean they can come come out with content they have to hire ambassadors to do for them Artists that are don't have a come up yet, they lure them with little product here and there and some titles, so they can be ambassador for them and make content for them because they dry up content. I refuse to be part of it, kids. I don't want to be dry up content. That's horrible. That sounds horrible for an artist that love art. I don't want that to be taken and driven away from me like that. You know, I kind of go to great lengths to make because a lot of people have requests or they want you to do this or mm -hmm. do that. And I know I have to buffer in between that to keep future purity. Yeah, how, how many artists? You couldn't. Right. The process. Mm -hmm. I would say that beside me, one other artist in the industry that still be able to keep their purity is death. Because that be able to steal. She, com she comes from a place of passion. Right. Right. But what other company do you know that the, the owner themselves is a content creator? You know what I mean? Tao. Tao is another one. Cure this. But a lot have come up and become boring overnight. Just <laughs> like, ugh, boring. Why do you even bother? <sighs> like that. So now I'm going to make some bubble. And that will be the end of it. So. Well, I, I can see how a lot of people might get swayed because they get on here and then people are like, you should do this and you should do that. And it sounds like a great idea. And then they go for it. And it is a great idea if money's the end goal. But lucky for us. So we only have 30 minutes left before the light end. I have to wrap it up. I'm already done with everything except for the buckle technique. have to actually pick up the speed a little bit. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some bubbles. Where's the snow? Oh, it still have a little red. Let's pop it in. Some uh, red art gel here. <coughs> Would you like a new palette? No, that's fine. Okay, <coughs> now it's have the red going up and then curve. And 
twist in like this. Lighten it up a little bit so it's not too thick. Still a little bit thick. Let's see. Remove just a little bit. Okay, good. Here. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, and some 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 white too. Woo, this nail is needy. Okay. Oh, and some blue. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you, this nail. It needs some blue right here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is, what'd you say? The drag, Patrick? Yeah, Patrick. Okay, so I'm gonna take out a container, empty containers. I am going to take out white ink. Now this art ink is super pigmented. I'm gonna shake it up, shaking up white ink. Apply the ink. So I am going to use uh, a purple bubble technique. Uh, I am going to use a technique called withdraw technique. Withdraw? Yeah. So you apply, um, you apply an ink down and then you withdraw it into your round brush. So by doing this, you cannot allow your ink to dry fast because ink can dry really fast and that will create marble pattern where now with this i am gonna do bubble effect so i'm taking bubble effect right now and i'm mixing one drop in to the ink just one drop just one drop mm -hmm. and make sure you shake up the ink too and that would delay the drying process of the ink so now i am taking the ink and i'm gonna draw a little heart all over this so what you need to do is have your filler brush, or uh, actually, you can also use a round brush. Round? Po pointy filler. brush. Uh -huh. Pointy. That's fine. And dip this in. And you want a paper towel too. Okay, so I'm having here. So you named a couple brushes. You said it didn't matter. So obviously you're just looking for a technique that's not precise. What are you looking for? You need a brush that can soak up liquid. Soak and a line, up, liquid. Mm -hmm, a line of brush is way too thin to soak it up. So with the ink mixed with bubble effect, you go ahead and paint it on here. So I'm gonna paint like hard. If you want, you can take a line of brush to to kind of keep the shape. Okay, now I'm gonna fill it in, so you can fill it in. Okay, now you're gonna run and you're gonna tap it in a paper towel. When you tap it in a paper towel, it will soak up the solution. So when you tap it again, your brush is now a dry brush. So what your brush will do is it will soak up the ink on the surface, but you have to tap it on the paper towels. See, I'm tapping it on paper towel. See it? Mm -hmm. So the paper towel soak up the ink and the brush is turned dry. So it soak up the uh, the ink on the surface. Absorbs it. Absorb it. So I'm going to do a whole bunch and then I can come back. Under the true mm -hmm. sponge pop tradition. 
So if you add more ink in, then they're going to be more bright. Okay, to depend on you. I don't need it to be brighter. This is perfect. Yeah, I thought that was absolutely stunning how they just faded into okay. so wispy. So I'm going to draw a little hot shade. <laughs> so soon you'll be happy you have a bubble effect. Mm -hmm. He's got several uses for it. So see, I, the paper towel soaked up the ink on the brush, and the brush soaked up the ink on the surface. Mm -hmm. See how you do it? Mm -hmm. You don't have to soak everything up. However, for this design, I'm soaking everything up. But you can soak up to about right here, and then you can start blending it a little bit. But no, I'm going to go ahead and soak up everything. So that's why you add so that is called uh -huh. give you a little time that's to a mm-hmm that's a withdraw technique withdraw technique yeah your withdraw technique okay so you notice here I cleaned up here first so here is a little more wider because the longer I leave it stay the more stainy it become okay so I am gonna do one more down here. I'm gonna use a line of breath to draw actually and then Okay. Now soak it off. And I touch it very lightly. I don't touch it hard. Because you don't want mark on it. So the more ink you put, the, like if you add put more ink, then the edge will be brighter because it's more stainier. Since art ink is very stainy. Stainier. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very strong. That's why I choose to have art ink instead of marble ink. Because art ink can do the same thing as marble ink, except marble ink is so weak. It's not strong enough like art ink. Art ink can do marble and smoke too at the same time. Oh, hey. I'm using art ink and bubble effect solution. But also, uh, when you're kind of asking a question, no question has got a mark. Mm. I have no idea this is gonna stop a second before it gets too far. And... Đúng rồi, một giọt bubble thôi, Tracy. What I'm telling her is, she say just one drop. I say yes, just one drop. So white ink, right? You put it on how many ever how many you want, but bubble effect right here, just one drop. That's all you need because you just need it to delay. You don't need it to um, oversaturate. You just need one drop of bubble effect. I will delay everything. Because without a bubble effect, then the ink, it will dry too fast. So again, I'm having white ink in. We don't use color. We only use white. Because if you want to make the bubble color, because the withdraw effect is to make um bubble. So you can... Uh, use stained glass gel for the colors. Wow. I should have been able to read just enough of that to know. Mm -hmm. that that's what they were asking. Damn it. Marble ink and bubble solution? No, art ink and bubble solution, not marble. This is not marble ink. I don't know why so many people think that my art ink is marble ink. Well, because everyone else has marble ink. Oh. And no, I don't have marble ink. It's, it's very uh, common and weak. And you do so much more than just right. marble with inks. So. Right. I no, are you art ink only? Don't get mad at them for just... No, I'm not getting mad. Mad at people. No, never, never marble ink. 
If you don't have bubble effect, what can you use? Ooh, safely? No. Nope. Who knows? No. Nope. That's it. That's why it's an exclusive technique today. Experiment. experiment. Yeah, experiment. Uh, liquid monomer will do the same things, but it's purple. I don't like purple. Okay, now I am going to make some shadows. With shadow, I will use a pink background. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a new palette. I'm going to paint uh, using pink stained glass. It's also a little bit important. I'm just going to have one color shadow for everything. So I'm using brown stained glass gel number 12. I believe acetone would evaporate pretty quick and put you on a timeline. Acetone will break it down. It will break it down so, so, but it's not going to break it down even. It break it down so hard that it becomes chunky. Um, because uh, bubble effect is a delay. It's so, not a solvent. Okay, now you take this right, right here, brown, and you add in a little um, coral number five. Okay, number five, add in. As bad for that, good for right. <clears throat> okay, now mix it. And if you're curious, you should always try things, throw it out there. See yes. Happens. Okay, now with this, uh, I will cut this. Sad, sad, mop, rose colors. Anyway, coral, coral, bruise, bruise colors. Did you so, say sad, mob, rose? Yes. Okay, so now I am choosing the right to shadow, so everywhere will be on the right and in the bottom, so I'm not gonna shadow the top to the bottom. And on the right. So this is a right right here. I'm not sure doing the top. I just doing the right. Just maybe just a little. Maybe just a little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then inside apply a little bit of bruise colors. And I am going to ombre it out. You know, when you're doing that fun detail art and uh -huh. smiling and stuff, you ever notice that it makes me hover over your shoulder? I'm gonna kill this because I have no idea what it looks like. So I wanna finish art once. White art gel, getting ready. So now, near here, about right here, I'm using the cartoon technique, comic book technique. Comic uh -huh. book technique. Give it some highlight here. Okay, so now you have a bubbles. You're going to do it to all of it. Matte, mm -hmm. and then I shine over it. If you like the effects of bubbles, bubbles. can you chop my phone, Dustin? Yes, yes. Which one? That one. My husband say I'm obsessed with watching Nell's video. Oh, oh, the one minute video. Oh my God, isn't that awesome? The one minute video. I no, love I would it say if they're saying obsessed, that's mean alive. It's, it's, it's these, right? Uh oh, uh oh, oh. No, cancel. Ooh. Doesn't almost end the live. Almost ended it. It's almost end the live, you guys. Oh, oh my fine. goodness. Well, if it ends. You would have saved it, but it had been awkward right here at the end. Well, if it ends, at least you guys see the bubble effect before you go. Right, right. So I shall do it to all of it. And there was a 
good understanding, I feel, and description of shadowing. So this withdraw technique right here, if you don't have the proper art shells and bubble fit, I don't know how you're going to do it. So if you don't have bubble effect right here, mm -hmm. let me show you. If you don't have this bubble effect and white art ink right here, then you just skip the bubbles. You don't, book, you don't do the bubble, you just do the art. About mm -hmm. it. Focus on the other stuff. Yeah, just do the sense. art. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Okay, now. I know the routine, so they'll be quick. Remember a little bit at a time because you can come back with more. <coughs> mm -hmm. Except for the inside, I want it to start out dark and then it's fade over. Okay. Talking about a viral post. Kill this. A viral post. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it viral. <laughs> Anytime I have new technique, I will make it viral. Okay. Shadow right here. Okay. Remove a little bit of shadow. It's a little too deep. You just wanna bruise it. It up a little bit. You don't want it to be too deep. Bruise it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get this. Because all sad, muted colors deserve a good bruising. I guess. Now, if I'm smart, then I would do the inside first. That will take up a load of gel off my place. And now this will be less. They said that one guy <coughs> is a squid. <coughs> Ooh. Choke me. Okay, now. I'm braid out. <laughs> Paradigm said, I'm so impressed with the bubble color, I did not expect that outcome from the coral black mix. I know, right? Well, and she's doing it with you, so she made it. Felt it and experienced it too. Right. And before I do the white highlight, um, uh, I want to use some milk to further enhance it. Mm. Just about right here. Just a little bit right there. That's it. Just to further enhance it. Here. That's funny. What's that? Don't mind it. Bless you, Tino. I know you didn't sneeze, but bless you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, just... Oh, I knew we lost you there at the background. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I almost told you to not worry about... SpongeBob and and to just focus and take your time on the background and then start in with the uh, Squidfish star guy, Patrick. But. Oh, yes, another thing uh, based from this, I want to warn you guys. Okay. I, I know this is a lot. If you were practice this bubble right here, okay, what you need to do is take a blank now, paint it black, and then practice this bubble because when you're practicing you don't care about anything else like like doesn't say yeah, yeah. if you are practicing cartoon you don't care about the background you just go dive into a blank now and draw a cartoon because that's what you practice for the background if you already know i mean if you if you practice in the background then by all means do but if you go for the cartoon then only practice the cartoon just a little extra just just uh just because it doesn't say something, it triggers some, uh, something in my mind, so I do want to share. Well, I have to practice better. Yeah, it's true. It's a different, the back, the alternative way of thinking. Right. When you're trying to make it, 
stress and pressure. But when you're seeing what's happening, well, then you're learning. Right. So right now, these art gels, this uh, art gel right here. Nora, and I think they all answered it, was wanting to know about uh, the background. What was that made of? Fairy gel. Fairy gel, yeah. All the elements that help me make this magic happen. Okay, this sounds catastrophic for some reason, and mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to read it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have bubble effect yet. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to mix white with clear top coat for the bubble and outline it uh, outline it as fine oh, she's jumping, as I can with the white. Good. She's going to try to thin it Good. down. Um, so when you make with top coat it's now no longer an ink. So uh, if gel top coat involved, it become a gel, which is fine. As you say, that is also a good, a good alternative. Is using that milk. Oh, or you can just use milk, whatever. Uh, because it's a gel, so you do milk around, and then you use art gel to do the thin Actually, layer around this. I think uh, just Toya had an absolute fantastic idea. Okay. <clears throat> we just take acrylic paint. Okay. And then set it down. Mm, okay, but it have to be but really it's thin. Right, it's gonna be very, very thin. It's gonna be very thick because acrylic paint. It have to be very thin, like ink, like because you want it to be able to soak it into your product. You see, ink, it's 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 very thin. It's moved like marble. The way it's moved is like marble. So that's why you can soak it in the product. That's why I call it a withdraw technique because I apply, I let it stain. And then I use a dry brush to soak the rest in, so the edge is more gradual. The effect is more gradual on the edge and very sharp, like hairline. That's why I use it for bubbles. Um, but so play the, no, but I I I like the uh, I like the acrylic pen idea more than the gel idea because the gel idea well that's defeat the purpose. But acrylic paint, you just mix it until you can soak it in with your brush. But hopefully that your acrylic paint dry fast because you do have to top coat it with a gel top coat. And acrylic paint is very dangerous with gel. Mm -hmm. Boy. Ink is no problems. That was your, your turmoil when we first met. Was right. Was that everything you wanted to create with all these acrylics because you're a true artist. But... You have to seal it and cap it and keep it from you. Right. Not like you couldn't seal it, but you have to seal it well. You have, you have to be sealed well. But acrylic is just another element. Uh, acrylic paint that's another element. So it did not go with gel. So you have to seal it well. Make sure it dry well and seal well. You would slash out these designs like a super ninja and then it would come to that last process and you would get slow and precise and microscopic. And I was like, why is he... Uh that's just clear, I would think to myself. Why right. is he so careful on that? I'm very careful on that. I'm etch everything, I'm capping the edge. Treat it like a chrome. If you have acrylic on your nails, then you treat it like a layer of chrome. It's a foreign layer, so you have to be careful. You know, it's really bad. Because the ink layer is evaporate entirely. It's here and then it's gone. But the acrylic is pigment mix it with something a, a medium and uh, a water based medium and oil based medium which should depend on the brand but that is a medium in there a gel like medium i would say that is they use to mix with pigment so you can paint on and it air dry of course and it get hardened like uh like a piece of silicone and probably if you're gonna mix it up you right. probably want to use a mandible an ink, an ink within second, it will evaporate away, and all it's left is the colors. That's all it's left. 
So it's basically leave nothing behind. That's why it can work with gel because it's just a color lap. It's nothing else. Sounds like the rain. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, hear this. What a treasure, truly, to have been able to sit here and watch you grow. Yeah. And think and develop and, and the whole process. Because for the most part, I've tried to not complicate it for you or even have you teach me. <laughs> right. I said, what I do is I wait until I know you've figured out whatever you're on. Yes. And then mm-hmm. you're like, okay, what happened? Uh, what about watercolor? Still, watercolor, you have to make sure that it's very, very dry. It's just anything that are paint and air dry, you have to let it really, really dry. Because it's not a solvent. Watercolor is not a solvent. Acrylic paint is not a solvent. A solvent is like, okay, so if you drop some acetone in the palm of your hand, it'll just gone away. But the solvent is disappearing. <coughs> it become uh like an air. It become like uh air vapor. Air vapor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, last one. I'm thinking I'm last gonna shine. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna shine this. You're gonna shine it. Yes. Oh, right. the whole nail. The whole nail. The whole nail. Oh, hi, Chicky. We we don't uh, say hi to Chicky today. Let me see. <coughs> say hi to her, or else she get mad. I, <laughs> I, I thought, need to focus step by step. That we were gonna ignore Jiggy for... Say hi to her, or else she 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 be like, why don't you say hi to me? I was there in that time. And compliment her. Make sure you you tell her she's beautiful. What? Here, I haven't seen her today. Listen, me and Jiggy don't have that kind of relationship. How could I possibly say anything about what she's done today if I haven't seen her? Okay, guy. That would be a lie, and that'd be that would be a. Hi, BX Rican. Hi, Shandit. Shandit. Uh, Not what's the integrity that you <laughs> built on? <laughs> um, what side now are the the no are the three X, not the two X, three X, and then an L. So that's why I have this. Not because these are not like the best tip in the world. To be honest with you, uh, I press way better quality still. I press to me is always the highest quality tip. This is not the best tip in the world. The reason why I carry XXXL coffin and XXXL stiletto because they are rare. Uh, I can find XX. XL stiletto, but uh, it's very difficult for me to find XXXL coffin. Uh, I press doesn't have it. That's that's why I decided to carry it because before I get nail from my press, I get nail from Dasker. That the, the, you just, you're getting them all over, looking all the over. But I I I am attracted to this coffin shape, and I need it to be this length because I, I'm not happy with this or that. That's this is like long. This is like long. This is like XL. I'm I'm not I'm not happy. I want long nails like this, but not too long. So you right. Off. So is it you wouldn't have to scrounge and worry about. Where so you're I going decided to, to sell it. I decided, you know what? I'm selling it so I can get it whenever I want. Because before I'm running out of tip. That's why you see weird little tip on on my nail on on my um page like like ovals or or. Short little stiletto because I'm out of tips. I I have to spade this out now. <coughs> and now I don't have to. I can I can have endless amount of uh, the tip in that side. That's yeah, perfect. see, we'll be getting cut off soon. Shun, shunned it. Uh, I will not post this live tonight. I will post it tomorrow at one o'clock. One o'clock. I will post this. La, 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 la. Yeah, morning or night. Uh, at, um, in the morning, in the afternoon. Afternoon, nice. Some shined it, just to make it look a little different for the bubbles. I hope you like my bubbles, honey. I think we're more drawn to the oh, cute I, blue. Oh, please! I know you're looking at these bubbles. Full of desire. You want to do it now, aren't you? 
you want to jump on the nail station and if you're at home uh, if you're at home I, you, I bet you can wait to get to your shop if you're at home mm -hmm. I know you want to mess with this bubble I know it's addicting they're playing they're playing mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to pop mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Looking at this. Mm-hmm. Kia. I'm so glad. Shadow, highlight, everything is in there. So now it literally looks like a bubbles. Literally. Literally like bubbles. Literally like bubbles. Because I add before because I realized that this under the ocean, I always thought the SpongeBob come from like a school, like a little school in the Midwest. But no, it's they from the what? ocean. They from the ocean. So school um, from the Midwest. Yeah, I like oh, this is like a school in like a small town, like a Midwest. Got the tree everywhere. Tree. No, oh it's under underwaters. So when it's underwaters, I put bubbles because. <laughs> they are creature, underwater creatures. That way, that way, people will know. Hear this. A little more than you did off the top. They won't relate yeah. trees with the Midwest, and uh, I love it. Oh yes. Pop it, honey. Pop it. Like a cherry. Okay, now. <sighs> no, the next live will be Wednesday, Monday at... Are you, Talia asked, are you going to start and not a live tonight? You kidding? This is crazy. My back hurt. <laughs> uh, it'll be, be a Monday. Third. It'll be on Monday. It'll be a uh, Monday 11, I I 11 o'clock at, uh, I lose my train of thought because I'm looking at the text. Um, 11 o'clock uh, on Monday and 6 o'clock on Monday Central Time. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm done with Valentine. This is my last one. It's not even Valentine. It's just Spongebob. Been freaky with Patrick. Honey, um, he's got heart eyes. So and then he have know. audience that watching him. This audience is watching him. Right, SpongeBob seemed totally in love. Like, hi, I love you. Oh my god, you so hot. Oh. And Patrick like, hello, honey. Hello, well, hello. And then this one is like, ooh, I wanna watch. I wanna watch. I wanna stand here and look at you guys. And this one's like, what the hell is going on here? So yeah, they all have different uh, little roll here. It's pretty good. I like it. I enjoy it. Look at this station, you guys. Art gel all over. Ooh. Stained glass gels. This one, fairy gel everywhere. Fairy gels. And then top coat. So. Mm. guys Patrick and Spunk are the best friend I don't know I don't know but I'm in control of this set so they can be whatever I tell them to be and in this set it's, it's like a it's like a neon orgy neon orgy is that why the friends are watching yeah they're watching too they join they probably join in Freaking it's like a neon orgy I should call it um call what I don't know. You know, let's not just name it under pressure real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, pop my bubbles. Oh, my God. Candy. Oh, of course. Of course, it'll be candy coated. I love that name. I'm going to name it Pop My Bubble. Or oh, Pop My Bubble Honeys. What kind of phone are you recording on? Just an iPhone. iPhone 12. I need an iPhone 14, but I'm still waiting for it's out of stock right now. Well, they don't have the... The Max Pro's 500 megabyte. Can we post it tomorrow? BX Recon tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Drop in, drop some comment, drop some like, drop some heart. And I will see you Monday.
And this will be tomorrow. Hi. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. All the color is fairy gel. This is art gels. Stained glass gels. Stained glass gel is like colors. I put most of it back. And uh, fairy gel. Fairy gel is the what I'm starting with today. I'm very happy with fairy gel, by the way. All right, guys. All right. Bye bye. Adios. Let me see. Adios. Adios. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Say goodbye to the children. Say goodbye. Mm. Now go paint that bubble. Go play with that bubble technique. See you guys later. Bye, everyone. Good night.